go through our first couple, you know, regular little things, and then you guys are up first on the agenda. So, right. okay. so let's call this meeting to order quick. Okay. Look to see what time it is. Oh, perfect. I know. Yeah. Uh, I would call for the approval of the agenda. Anybody have comments? I approve. Uh, I make motion to approve the agenda as before. Second. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. In favor? Yeah. I should say just vote it. If you don't agree, you should agree. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, approval of the previous minutes. Um, Thing on the, the three A. I just corrected her name. The rest of that is not right. It, how how you originally had it in the minutes was right. So it was just a matter of correctly spelling her name. Yeah. Okay. So how how is her name supposed to be exactly? Um, it, it is E P Y and K A Y. So so that be item three A yeah. one. Yeah. It's just just correct the spelling of the name. The rest of what was in the minutes is not okay. But this part is, is not this part I thought they looked beautiful. Yep. Yep. So Anybody else? Okay, I'll move that we approve the minutes. Second. With those Second. corrections. Yep. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, the public is invited to be heard. But they kind of really don't have that. You guys don't count. Exactly. Okay. Um, let's move on to. Um, can we just switch A to B and do the updated video? First? Yeah. There's no update on the scrapbook right now. Okay. We're just waiting to okay, let's get just the video yeah. ball rolling, and then we'll go back to that. Wonderful. So, no okay. Update. We're on to the updated video. You're on. Yeah, so I mean, I'll let, um, I'll just introduce myself and I'll let everybody kind of follow suit. I, I'm Molly McCoy. Great to meet you all. I'm, I'm sure you might have heard about me from yeah, this lady over here. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm here with Black Sparrow Media. This wonderful gentleman over here, Jamal Page, is um, our creative director and Callahan over there, but she can kind of speak for herself. My role, I am the communications coordinator for Black Sparrow Media. And in this um, specific production, um, second uh, assistant director so and production manager. So kind of relating with you guys in terms of any information that you kind of would like in this film. And I'll kind of pass out some paperwork in a second here, but I'll let yeah. Jamal kind of take the yeah. lead from Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so hi, I'm Jamal. Um, it's good to see you guys. It's good to be here. Um, you know, we're very excited to have the opportunity to work on this project for you all. Um, yeah, as Molly was saying, uh, you know, we'll be here on the day. We'll have probably a lot more people doing a lot more things. Um, everyone is I welcomed and encouraged to be here on the day that we film, um, just so they can all kind of be a part of the process and see um, just the kind of fun circus of filming things. Um, but in that regards, yeah, so we have a couple uh, forms to pass out just so we can get everyone in the same kind of creative vision. Um, what my thoughts were, I'm not going to uh, wrote out my, my creative like, pitch with Brittany and everything. Um, but our thoughts for what the project will be is, um, you know, kind of a supplement to the original video that is out there. And um, we'll have a little bit more, I'm going to say, just modern uh uses of the camera techniques that probably weren't available last time this was made um so that'll be a lot of fun to kind of bring this to the modern modern lens um yeah and uh that's all i have to say and then this wonderful human over here is uh callahan i've explained to her already that she yeah, does not get that <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, i don't think yeah. i don't think so i need to do a little bit more digging yeah, so perhaps. my the callahan that I, is my namesake my name is callahan woodbury is jw callahan who is a riverboat captain in south georgia um so not necessarily the same but you never know. They're all, everybody's, so, it's, it's all the same clan. It's great. Yeah. Um, I am assistant director for this project. I, I'm really excited about this, not only because of my name connection, <laughs> so it's fun to see on my calendar, um, but also because I, in my previous career before I moved over into film, uh, film production, I was a, um, I worked in nonprofits and specifically at a historic house museum in Tennessee, and I oversaw a, a restoration project there. So this is 
really exciting to me. I can't wait to see what all you've done, and I would love to compare notes about how that process went because ours was bananas. Um, but I'm really excited to to see the Callahan House and 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 share y'all's story. Well, we're in Tennessee, Nashville. Nashville. So I was at Cheekwood. Okay. Oh. I think hopefully everybody saw the email, but um, Black Sparrow was awarded based on their quote. Uh, so we didn't have to do any further process based on criteria. Obviously, we were super excited and knew that you guys were passionate about the project anyway, so it all worked out. But that was the reason we didn't have to you know, go any further is because they turned in the best quote. So, Okay. So um, really really like that. Uh, can, can I have a clarification of stuff? So yeah, yeah this is a, a add-on to the other film because I thought we were kind of trying to go for something that would be good enough that we could possibly um, get put it forth to um, be on the um, Colorado experience with PBS. So yeah, yeah both point. options are, are viable. Yeah. Okay. So whichever uh, the board is comfortable. Yeah, and, well, and I think yeah. what kind of Jamal is saying in terms of add-on is not to um, something that we've been using a lot is a supplement, but not, not replace. Yeah. Which is we want to acknowledge the quality of work that was done with the original film by also kind of um, reiterating some of those historic aspects that were brought up in the initial film, not taking away any of them by any means, but by if anything adding additional historical facts and additional quality to it to be a nice sister film okay yes yeah i think based on i mean the nature of what we're doing and the information we want to share naturally some of the information is going to be repeated mm -hmm. um but again the intention not to replace but to you know just that be a compliment mm -hmm. you could call yeah. there you go okay. yeah absolutely yeah. and to utterly also kind of be able to pitch on to um you know pbs which i know is something that you guys have all mentioned either yeah, okay. and hopefully we'd like to do a set up a viewing at, uh, at the museum also, you know, kind of a reception for that, yeah. that'd be really cool. And so I'm in connection with um, Eric at the museum yeah. for the, like, visit him process, so. Great. Great. That would be very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. So, yeah. So I think you guys wanted to get some input from the board to make yeah, sure yeah. that you're so on have, this, um, the right page. And, well, absolutely. Yeah, so we're going through, first. we're creating the script. So the plan for what the video will actually like visually look like when you're watching it is um, we have a lovely host, actress that we hired, um, and she'll be, kind of be like the tour guide that takes you through the house. Um, as she does that, uh, we'll go through different rooms, different areas, and we'll be talking about the history of it, the significance of said area, as well as you know where applicable. We'll talk about like how it's used today. Um, and so that will be true for both the interior of the house and the exterior. We're going, we're going the whole, whole thing, whole thing completely. Um, so in that sense, we're writing the script and we want to make sure we get all the historical facts right. Um, but on top of getting everything right, we want to make sure everyone's voices and input is heard. So what I have here is not the script per se, but an outline of the script. So this is like a work in progress, if you want to think of it that way. Um, so this will kind of run through, uh, I've got bullet points here, it says you know, gardens, the house exterior, the automobile house, and then each one kind of has just bullet points. Of things that we're going to touch on, um, whereas the actual script, of course, will be a lot more filled out and, and you know detailed. But this will give you an idea of where the project is going, um, and it will allow you to uh, add your own input, which Molly has a point yes. for that as well. So I'll go ahead and start. I'll read them in a second. Which um, they should be. Go ahead and check them in case they have staple videos. Sure. Been, yeah. And as as you guys are passing that I out. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> once once that also kind of goes around, yes. I'll hand out these, which is just a short little survey. Um, in general, I'm going to have you put your name, your email, that way if, if I have to ask any additional follow-up questions, I can. Um, but it, we just kind of want to know what your overall image is for the documentary. Do you have any specific events or features regarding the home that you believe must be included that are not already on here? And is there anything that you do not want in this film that was maybe previously included or has not been mentioned or is maybe something that is um, important to present day Longmont that you know we just should not include for specific reasons, etc. I think that it's important to note that as well and any additional comments or critiques I did um, last one kind of extends over so feel free to go over to the back page um, 
and Brittany will kind of be relaying this back to me. So feel free to send this to Brittany and then she will send it back to me. Thank you so much for doing that. So yeah. Yeah. And what okay. is your time? I think we want to turn these around fairly quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. You guys need them back by um next week if we when? can. Okay. Um if we could just do next Wednesday, that would be amazing. Back to you by next Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. It's possible. Okay. So if yeah. you could get these into me by like Tuesday, is that good? enough time. I know it's a quick turnaround, but I honestly think that um, between um, Candy and, and um, Karen, they're our biggest history. Karen's our historian, mm -hmm. and so she's going to have a lots of information on there. In the past film, do we have anything that she, that wasn't correct in the past film? Yeah, Any comments? Yes. I was curious about one thing if you were able to answer on the website it for this is for the statues, the um, Greek statues. Um, on the website, it lists one of them as Artemis, and then on um, the other documents, the household documents we have, it listed as uh, Venus. No. So I just wasn't sure. Artemis and Venus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's an Italian yeah. okay. garden. And that's, and that's part of the, the stuff on the website. And it's like, I said, there are inaccuracies on the yeah. website. Okay. So yeah. that we, yeah. we, we have to yeah. okay. check. Okay, I just wanted to double check yeah. to make sure I wasn't dealing yeah. with any wrong information. No, we, okay. we, we can definitely. Okay. All of that is there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the website. Okay. So I also done an email to just like with a calendar reminder to get the surveys back into me by Tuesday, and then I'll send those to you guys on Wednesday. Okay. I hate to be a pain in the butt, but is there any way that we can get these digital? Um, no, I, I can absolutely send a digital copy. Um, absolutely. Brittany and I have discussed it, and we have thought a physical copy might be a little bit easier, but I can absolutely send out a um, digital copy to you immediately after this meeting. Yeah, yeah I said paper, so. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, you, you can absolutely, you, you can totally email that to me and I will, um, yeah, I'll put it in a specific form that all you can do is fill it out. Yeah. Right. Same, so for the, same for the project outline. If you want those digitally, we can send those over there. Yeah, So if we don't do it digitally, how do we get this? Yeah, we have to have it for her. Oh, yeah. Or, or take a picture of it. Yeah, which is a great take a picture of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Take so a picture of it. Take a picture on your phone. Yeah. yeah. See, me and not Whatever just you all get the information out. out. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. You have to bring it over to the picture of it. Snail mail it tomorrow. Snail mail it. There you go. Get it. Steal money. Okay, great. Um, is there anything else you guys want to discuss specifically or point out that you're looking for in terms of information from the board input or? Not quite at this time. I mean, I kind of just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of just like the process. Um, and of course, like, again, invite everyone to be present if they choose to be present um, when we film this, uh, whatever those dates. Do you yeah. have those dates set yet? We do, but um, we're waiting on some contractual yeah. stuff to go through the city, which yeah. Oh, okay. But unfortunately, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to okay, okay. Yeah. So we, we have a TBD <laughs> date yeah. at the moment. Yeah, but, um, Pencil yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Is that for like a service agreement or something? Yeah, it's because the quote, um, because of the amount of the quote, it has to go through ah, legal and okay. risk and mm -hmm. this whole thing. So, okay. um, yeah. yeah, so we're working on that um, on the back end. Pam Roding through purchasing is trying to get that pushed through for us as quickly as possible, but you know, so we've got yeah, some dates yes. penciled in, Do we have a which I think are... Yeah, so our initial plan <laughs> yeah. that we had was, what was it, uh, uh, May 23rd? Wow. Yes, I, let me get oh. the exact dates yeah. for you right now. Okay. Um, yeah. so, so it is May 21st yeah. through the 23rd um, yeah. was our yeah. initial dates. But and those then, were for the interior. Yes, only interior else. because yes. of the exterior flowers and gardens that we obviously want to have in full bloom. Right. Um, so we had exterior dates for 16th and 17th of July. And that 
At this point, if the contract is not approved by May, we will probably push to July. That is our yeah, just to get it Yeah, great. Okay. I yeah. just need a clue. Absolutely. Yeah. September. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm trying to get the ball rolling as soon as possible, but right. yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. great. So. And I do have you, a question. Um, as assistant director, one of my, my roles is going to be making sure that our people are where we need to be and doing the things that we need to do and staying on, on time. Um, who is my best point of contact in this room or not in this room um, for um, actual physical materials in the house, what we can touch, what we can move, where we can be? Yeah, yeah. I'll be present during all of the filming yeah, wonderful. and I'll be your point of contact for setting updates and all that stuff if we need to yeah. changes or whatever it is. And this is something that we also discussed with Brittany in our previous meeting, which I apologize for not kind of relaying to you, okay. Callahan, is um, she was, you were going to give us a list of all materials that could not be like photographed or um, yeah. have any. Videography just because of light. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was something we were wondering is like a lot of the photographs, you know, um, in here, if we, if we have any concerns about those being photographed or if, if there's a way that you guys can do it without a yeah. direct light source on them mm -hmm. or if yeah. there are thoughts about that. So, yeah. I don't know. It's something to think about. Absolutely. Obviously, we want them included. Yes. Right. Yeah. We can absolutely do things without direct light sources, and that's something I know that we talked about as well. But it would it would depend on the time of day, so we'd have to be in here when the house is well lit. And, yeah. You know. And speaking of which, when you guys are going around today, because they're they're going to go around and set up like a shot list and stuff. Um, there's no curtains on anything because they're being washed. I thought it's so freaking good. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so Isn't it nice? So it's so nice. So so nice. I was like, the light will be a little bit more bright. Okay. Put those back in. Um, and also, I mentioned to you all that we're getting a new piano. Um, that's not going to be for a few months. So it's being shipped to our like piano expert person on May twenty fourth. But then he's going to have it for two or three months before we get it here. So just to FYI, that's going to be. A little bit later down the road than we see the one that's in there now, that's not worth for um, yeah, film. that one's not worth my 1965 or 1970. We can get back and get footage of like the piano, okay. that's not like a it's not like a full room, yeah, in terms yeah. Of okay, that. Yeah. yeah, great, yeah. Nice so, yeah. Um, the only other question I have is we had talked about um, doing the um. <coughs> Sorry, doing the um, oh the, the QR, QR codes. The yes. QR yeah, code. we talked about that. Yeah, specific that. Pieces, pieces are is yeah. that going to be included? Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, okay. we're figuring out like what the best arrangement for that is. Yes. Yeah, um, I think we. Had, I know we're not going to yeah. do it on everything, but yeah, we don't specific. want them all over the place. No, I just we're thinking just, like maybe two or three, mm -hmm. like maybe one for interior, yeah. one in the garden, one for the auto house, something yeah. like that. Just because we don't yeah. aesthetically yeah. want them all over the place, right. but yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the hope is that we would also try to do like something clear or something that was not noticeable, kind of. Well, not not noticeable, but not taking not away from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, something not non intrusive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, that would be amazing. amazing. Yes. Yeah. So, so, and then the link to I think we talked about kind of portioning out yeah. some of yeah. the video so that like. Yeah, There's a so section like on the garden, river, so this looks like that section is yeah. very cool. cool. Yeah, cool. So exactly. yeah, it's gonna be great. So that's exactly what I've always wanted. Yeah, so yeah. that's exactly yeah. that. Great, great. Cool, awesome. Well, Anything else that you guys wanted to go over? Or? That's all I have. Okay, one thought I had is you know, of all the events that take place here, um, the one that is the most beautiful and high profile is the wedding parties outside. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if there could be, you know, like a 10 second, a, a cut to some B-roll of yeah. them. Yeah. So we, because we had we'll discussed that down the aisle. there might be a wedding happening here, which of course they'll have their own videographers and, right. and uh, people, but yeah. they might be kind enough to lend us some of that footage yeah. for the sake yeah. of the video. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Longmont yeah. Public Media is working on like a virtual venue tour, which is meant to be more of a sales uh, marketing item for weddings and, yeah. and private rentals. And I think you guys are in connection with them, yeah. right? So we're thinking yeah. that yeah. they might, you know, yeah, yeah. lend a little bit of that footage yeah. to this right. video. Right. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, Rachel Moyer, who is getting married here at the end of this month, who is 
our marketing person for the city of Longmont oh, yes. is having oh, LPM out to her <laughs> wedding to do drone footage. Yeah. And they're working. So oh, there's, great. yeah. So it's oh, kind of a lot going that's on with that, but cool. cool. some of it can be oh, interconnected. One, yeah. 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 You guys yeah. are such fun things. Thank you for bringing that up. I don't know if you guys mentioned that, but yeah. So, cool. Perfect. I saw you guys. There's coffee and tea oh. in this room right here, so help Amazing. yourself if you yeah. want some. Um, but yeah, and then you guys are just gonna like cruise around and. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So we're kind of self touring, but yeah. 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 so if you have any questions, we'll, we'll be right Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Back to Brittany by Tuesday. Yeah, and I'll send out an email, like a, a calendar invite, just as an yeah. update reminder. Thank you. I um, love that. That helps me. Yeah, it does. It sure. Does make I, I, I really, I know it's probably a pain in the butt, but that no, not at all. is so helpful to have this. Yes. Um, and just for the agenda, whenever Rachel shows up, she's supposed to be here around 10, 15, 10 30, I think. But whenever she shows up, we'll let's skip to branding if that's okay. Okay, okay, so, sounds great. Okay, right. yeah. okay, let's carry on to uh, club affair. What's the next item on the agenda? We so, met after the last um, so. regular meeting mm -hmm. upstairs, and uh, at that meeting, <laughs> we revised the, the letter that had been used in the past, mm -hmm. and we discussed um, the fee that should be charged. And we also talked about um, our list of clubs to contact and um, added some to that, including um, Marie was going to get in touch with um, the lady with El Comité. I, I haven't had it, I have spoken to her briefly, but I haven't, I don't have more information to bring back on that. Um, but I do have that, and I also have a, uh, gotten a contact for the. Um, a A A U W was one oh, of the people that we were. Yeah, that's why I worked on that too. Yesterday. Yeah. And so we're still kind of fine tuning those yeah. contexts and stuff. But we need to get, um, we need to set a meeting. We didn't do that. So oh, that's right. what I'm thinking is that right after, immediately after this meeting, because I know we have another meeting, <laughs> but right after this meeting, if the four of us involved with this could discuss. Uh, a future meeting, but next week maybe even at my house. Oh, that would be wonderful. And, and we could um, for sure get the letters ready to go. Right, I, will have, I will right. have more information by that point. That we need to make sure. Okay. So we'll talk about that at the, at the end of the meeting. One question I do have: We talked about um, the fee, and initially when we did this the first two times, the fee was connected to the size of the table. And we asked them what size they wanted, and so we kind of molded over and decided, yeah, maybe they don't need a table. Um, and maybe we just decide once they register whether we're going to put them outside or in the carriage house or in the dining room or just what their club was conducive to instead of saying, for your this fee or this amount, you can rent a, 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 a Car table, you know, instead of saying that and being that specific, that we would kind of assign this, this space and it might include a table and it might not. Mm -hmm. And then our price that we, the fee that we came up with was $40. Um, we had charged $25 in the past, so because of inflation, we were looking for increasing that. I don't know, what do you think? Does that sound reasonable? Does it sound too steep? Very affordable to me. I think people people can pay fifty to a hundred dollars for a table at like a convention or, mm -hmm. or an art fair or things like that. So I think I think it's very reasonable. Forty percent. Well, the other thing that we we noticed in looking at this letter is we were providing like refreshments mm -hmm. for everybody who participated, attendees right. and the club people as well. Right. So yeah. that forty dollars would have to include that type. Of too. Is that something that we still want to offer? That's one of those things. I still think 
it wouldn't be totally astronomical if we forty dollars just seems so minimum to me. Yeah, I don't know that we don't make it fifty and then do the like refreshments that gives us an additional. I know I keep on creeping the numbers up. You know, so I don't mean to, but you can't do anything for that price. You really can't. Yeah, I mean, You're how many you, how many people would we be talking about providing food for? We help a lot. Yeah, for <laughs> well, I mean, ballpark. What do you think? And like, I'm thinking light and free freshness to me means cookies, cheese and crackers, and cheese yeah. and crackers, and, and yeah. I think it would be. I've never been to this, but I know food is like a really. It's a draw. Yeah, people like yeah. to have a snack yeah. when they walk yeah. around. And things, but this so. would just be for the club people, not for the. General public, yes, no, it would be for everybody. The food is for the general public, it's for everybody. That's gonna be very expensive. I'm I'm just, that's to hard, to, <laughs> hard to, you know, differentiate. Yeah, you, know, yes. you, know, you can have what you can have. You can only have one cookie, you can't have two cookies because we didn't want to make money on this event. I mean, the purpose is also to get clubs in the house and make future funds and you right. know, to put ourselves out there as a what if an we, offering to the community, what if we that's got gonna donations. be expensive. What if we got donations um, like from the local grocery stores for packaged cookies? I mean, um, we could get some sugar-free cookies and regular cookies and then we're just supplying water and lemonade or something along yeah. those lines. Well, I do know for a fact that all the, all the grocery stores, there's King, Kings and Safeway, they will give you a certificate. $20 gift certificate, yeah. and you can spend it on whatever you want. Right. We do, you know, catering with sprouts. Maybe they will be willing to donate since we spend lots money with that. I want those bags of them. You take them, get them out of here. We do it to Panera. Just they give away their bagels at the end of the day. And sometimes you've got big grocery sacks full of bagels. Yeah. Huh. I think we need to think about something but, like that because providing food for I mean, we hope to have several hundred people come to this. Right. That's all. Yeah. But I'm not sure about bagels. Well, I'm not sure about just the fact that people are eating and wandering through the house makes kind of a mess. Yeah. Well, that too. There's that. Gosh, that mm-hmm. makes me kind of cringe. What about, um, hmm. I don't know, what if we got some food trucks to come and, like, you know, people can. That would have food nice. for purchase if they want to. You know, if it's going right. to be a several hour event or yeah. gardens have an activated, yeah. yeah. That would make it like off. come that's and that's check stuff out. That makes me more comfortable. Food trucks. What, what, what if yeah. we look at Because then okay. people can purchase their own food, but they're still right. available. That's a good And idea. they're eating it out there. And we could, food. sometimes when you get vendors, like the food truck vendors, they might give like a discounted ticket price to like the people that are participating in clubs and things like that, like they might offer a discounted meal for those people mm-hmm. if we're setting them up to come and giving them a lot of business. Isn't that something that they do down at Prospect Park during they the used summer? To, they, they used to, to do that. They, they, they don't do it anymore. I'm just Unfortunately, it was so fun. I mean, when wander, people but... see food trucks, they know it's an event and yeah, food food trucks feel have good food. It's so, good they, yeah, they would get a better okay. offering than like if they set out chips and cookies and stuff like that. I think that's a great idea, and then we're not paying for it. Right. Do you want that food to come into the house, though? Or do you want no. it? I prefer it in the garden. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which would be, I think that would be fine to manage, you know. People can eat in the garden. Yeah. Cool. So then if we could just provide water, bottled water for our home. Um, mm-hmm. We can like provide people. water. I don't I don't know if not we can provide bottled water. Public, but, but to the, the people who will set up. Yeah, so we can really provide like coffee and tea and water for those people. Okay, yeah, that probably not bottled water, just water, water, ecologically. But yeah, we water stay. We can do a water station. That would and be coffee amazing. and tea. Yeah, yeah, and then have the food trucks. I don't, I don't know that we'd even need to do coffee, but cold beverages, I think, is what we're. Yeah, doing. iced tea and water. Yeah, iced tea and water. Sure. August. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think let's. So are you sticking the forty then? But I saw when I looked at like talking to the uh, Cultures International, those little old ladies, fifty dollars a lot of money to them. They don't pay a bunch of money into their club to make it together to quilt. They're gonna go, I'm not giving you fifty dollars so I could sit in the house. 
I could. I mean, okay. I know Peggy. And no, that's Linda. good. I mean, that's good insight. I'm just saying. Some so people maybe, are going to say no. I don't like well, you know, even though it's a fundraiser, I think it does a lot of good for Callahan House and for the community. If it's not so restrictive in terms of the fees, I mean, you might be shooting yourself in the foot if you make it too much, even though it should be, yeah, you know, could, could even be though the going rate might be more because you really want a lot of people so to come and do this. So $40, we well, stick to the 45 What if so. it's like a suggested fee, you pay what you can kind of a thing, like a donation yeah. sort of base? Like, suggested donation is $50, but if that doesn't work for you, that's a really good that's, idea. That's nice. But I, 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 and it's I also I'll pay more than you accessible. think. <laughs> yeah, or maybe we, we get more from some people, but then yeah. it's more accessible for clubs that can't pay yeah. the fee or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Suggested so fee is $50, but suggested fee is $50 minimum is. Yeah, maybe a minimum of. Yeah, 30, yeah. 30, I think so. Yeah. Minimum of 30. Here, here, what, were what were you thinking? I saw your face. What were you thinking? I saw your face. I think you're on the right track now with a suggested donation. I do think that while this is a fundraiser, this is really a light fundraiser. Just right. Really yeah, but it's not a right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's not about the It's just about <laughs> to have some serious right. funds yeah. come in from yeah. this fundraiser. Right. It is really more about community outreach and, mm -hmm. and club support. And and I think we we re, we addressed all that in the rewriting of the letter that we were sending out. And I also am happy to report that um, the questers are very excited and we're talking about having um, as, as a state, we have a whole state organization county call cool. present, yeah. not just start the chapter. Yeah. So, That's great. They're so, yeah. really jazzed about it. Yeah, Carrie cool. House would be a good place maybe for them? Possibly. That's that's one of those things that they have all sorts of flyers and, and stuff and they're very excited about it. So if we said um, suggested donation would be yeah, thirty to fifty dollars. Give a suggested range. donation fifty minimum Minimum. Yeah. Minimum. 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 I don't think I don't think putting a minimum is okay. So suggested suggested donation fifty dollars. Yeah, means they can pay that. They can pay a little less, or they can pay more. Yeah. Okay. So should we even say the bottom? No, I would not. Just suggest it. Because then at that point you're saying yeah, we want you to pay thirty dollars. Yeah. Donation based. Suggested donation fee is fifty dollars. So, but in the letter we said now remember this is a fundraiser. So we it's in there. So we've already addressed it. So we just put in what we had just spoken about is a suggested fee right now. I think fifty dollars is good. And if people want to pay less than that because that's what they they can afford. That's what we will do. Does that sound good? Yes. Not be as inclusive as we can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The food trucks. Um, yeah. Anybody have personal yeah. Yeah. connections with the food trucks? Sam's going to be a go to with all of her connections for her events. Okay. That whole process. Well, and I, I um, you know, like who is, yeah, Sam's going to be your go to for that. Okay. Why don't I work on that? Sam okay. Calhoun. Yeah. Yeah. She's our event coordinator. For yeah. We've, we met Sam before. She's been here at one of the houses. And I think yeah, we probably just want two or three. Yeah, yeah. three might yeah. be a lot for your space too. Yeah. Because there's like the passport one that goes to all of our events, and they're like their food is all over the place. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's called passport. Oh, so sure. kind of things. Um, okay, for hours yeah. maybe two. Yeah, so I want one. Is the the hours were ten to one. So much. And of course, I'll have to be yeah. here early, like nine to set up, and then okay. to two take down. Yeah. Um, but ten to one. Frenchy, Frenchy, Frenchy. So yeah, Frenchy, 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 Frenchy. There is a biscuit. Oh yeah, there's Joe's or something. I've seen that. Joe's dry, something like that. Okay, it's quite popular. Yep. Okay, I will work on that, and we'll see if we can get that to give like a discounted ticket to the vendors. To do a special. Okay. Probably. Yeah, there's probably a permit, but we'll nice. Can figure it out. There's always a permit. A discounted ticket. Always have to ask someone. We'll potentially get a discounted meal, or just for the presenters. Yeah. That's a great idea. 
Maybe. So, maybe. So, maybe. 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 Yeah, they, that were the month growth well and everything. So, so Brittany, um, a question <laughs> about so good luck with that. So maybe, uh, but being able to use um, house stationery. Do we have specific paper we can run off on? Um, letter Do we? Do we? Thank you. I don't know. Letter. That's a great question. I w I can look. Do we have some? I think if Callahan letter. If we were to use the, an official stationery, it would be the the new branding, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, actually, it would be the either the letterhead um, that Lewis Callahan used, or it would be um, what Connie and I have recently used with the eight and the letters. Yeah. Um, at the top. So the, I'll see if we have something. So if not, we could get something creative. Yeah, maybe there's maybe something kicking around we could just use up. There might be, you know. Oh, right. look, there might be something. And that, the yeah, drawers are used to my boxes and right. stuff. And so so there might be some paper that, that we could use. use. Okay. And oh, the other right. thing is mail merge. Can we do that with this kind of thing? Constant contact? Yeah. Is because it, 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 our letters that you're members of and we had handwritten in each clusters or whatever. Yeah, we could yeah. set up a new constant contact list for this. Oh, that would be but amazing. It, so you wouldn't be individualizing it. It would be one general. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't have their... Oh, it wouldn't be each individual organization. So what would be you a new term used? It wouldn't be put in... We could could we could put, in put in names and email addresses. Mail merge like a new list. Right, but that content of the constant contact oh. wouldn't be individualized unless yeah. you created individual constant contact. I don't think you meant a need to be done, right? Is, uh, it be is that a letter or it's an email? Letter? It's an email. It's but well, is it to who is it to? Whoever we need it to be to. I think okay. so. A letter can be the same to each each club, but, it, but it's not that broad, right? But it also needs to be an email. Right, because I found in the past the letters get lost and you have to send an email anyway. So right, but it's the same right. letter and email that goes out to yeah. everybody. Right. Yeah, okay. Same same letter, case, yes. it would we just be just the um, overall name in, of the introduction length yes. to your question. Yes, yes. We we do do or we, do. if we come up with a term that's all encompassing, dear club participants, or yeah, right. But we can put it. I mean, when I would like upload a list of emails, it would be their name and email, so we can put in. Okay, so that we can do it. Yeah, that's and, what, yes. we just want a verification that, yeah. that that's okay. something possible. Yeah, those of us who don't do the Okay, <laughs> so so definitely want to get Not this well. out. Um, I can do it before the end of May. Yes. Yes. Do we, um, do we want? Do we need a hard copy letter in addition to an email? You you all know these. Groups is that you know I think there's enough people that appreciate that mm -hmm. um, in the older clubs I think yeah and then there's enough the when I think about the so cultures I don't think in questers yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you need a letter okay yeah. 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 Okay. So okay. we're still feeding both parents <laughs> yeah okay. there's right. both sections that we want to catch so mm -hmm. yeah okay great okay anything else on club affair. Oh, one other question. Um, as far as them paying for this, um, how in the past it was always it was a check, you'd mail a check in. Um, Do it through. But we can set up a way for them to pay online. I think we could create, yeah. Through ref track? Like a registration in ref track. So yeah, they could pay online. They could also send a check if they prefer. Um, so I think Someone we could take can, can we do both options? Yes. That would be great. Yeah. Okay. And so, so, so the that will need to be stated in the letter that you right. can make mm -hmm. payment mm -hmm. here. At mm -hmm. here. Okay. I yeah. Would, they can either yeah. Yeah. clean this up and send the committee a, a copy, of you a copy, and then you can massage it and clean it up for me. Where right. It's trying to say things better than I can. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> And I, I think I think I think we've done really well, to be yeah. honest, Candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be a little like hard on yourself. We, if we could just then, if you could just plop that in, is basically what mm -hmm. we need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. She can go over it with a magic wand. Okay. Okay. The next item on the agenda is club selection criteria. Uh, I didn't make it so we met meet. on April twenty fourth at ten. I wanted to go over what was presented, um, but. 
in the process, we had separated out um, the criteria into what would be more of a, a uh, questionnaire or um, something that the club would fill out, kind of like an application, um, and then a separate page that would be just helpful direction for uh, the board members to be able to review the information. Yeah. Um, and in, after that meeting, we then since got some feedback from legal about a couple of pieces of the criteria. And um, so held off on putting together that survey or questionnaire and um, direction because of that. So legal, I think you all can see that on the, um, it's included in the packet, okay? that, yeah, page five. So legal is, um, recommending to remove number one and eight of the criteria. Mm -hmm. Requiring that the, 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 these three highlighted items need to be removed. Okay. So, and, so and do they need to be removed or is it a suggestion? They, mm -hmm. they need to be removed. What's they're that? saying that it's a federal level issue. Um, that they're very black and white that these items cannot be included. Okay. Um, and, and they're saying it's a federal. Yeah. Just like in terms of protected classes, and like we don't want to have any potential for discrimination issues or anything mm -hmm. of any kind. So, just you don't know, say it. Yeah, it's, it's just they just need to be to be removed. Um, but they do they, acknowledge that the warranty deed is a legal document that's recorded yes. in Boulder County. Yes, and so that but language in, is in the recorded deed. Yes, yeah, okay. in nineteen thirty eight. You know, and with respect to the deed, and as we talked about in the last meeting, more than likely it will continue to be a lot of women's clubs, you know, right. just naturally right. catering to that. But um, but in, in no way should that be reflected here or the deed be included in a criteria for selecting people to use the house. It's not your criteria. So the fact that you're a women's club. Yeah. yeah. Well, it sounds pretty cut and dry. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 You can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is, um, does the city have an online form that it would like the format of this to be put into? How would you like the format? Because with the criteria, we'll, we can, you know, that. Yeah. Or, well, I think what the question is what's online? best for the clubs, because we can, we can do it online. We can also have, you know, a, a hard, I think it's how do we make it most accessible for the clubs? Online would certainly be easiest for it coming in to well, us for review. Um, like a, a application process okay, for clubs so, that want to use their house. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, so like a, an online an intake form, basically, to be like, we're interested in, in the house for club space, and then it goes through a process, you know. Okay. Um, so it can be whatever is most accessible, I think, for people. I'm trying and to get my head wrapped around that, that, that the fact that what kind of diversity is represented within club members. I can understand, is it the way we asked it? Is, I know when we do grants, that's one of the first things, what type of diversity do you have? That's one of the things they ask. Sure. And well, well, how do we answer that question if we aren't even allowed to ask our clubs what they're doing as a diversity? It's it's the matter of using this as a criteria for acceptance. Yes. That's that's the thing. So it's not that in a survey maybe of clubs that we if people want to fill out that information, but using it as a criteria to say who is accepted and using the house is, is not an appropriate place for these questions. Okay, that does make sense. So, it just and, be you know, in terms record, of the grant, it shouldn't be one of the questions to ask for. That can just be something that we, you know, that knowledge is provided by us to the best of our understanding. And there are other answers that they very easily give that information because yeah. it's often something to be proud of. Right. 
your club is yeah, could be the purpose of their group is celebrating yeah. a certain aspect of that. And so, you know, it's made very obvious, but it, it just can't be part of a criteria like, for who can use There are other ways to find out to get that yeah. information. Sure. Other if needed. Other than if a criteria. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Okay. So, okay. okay. What we can do is, um, would we like to schedule a well, we already have uh, the guidelines. We'll just um, amend them a bit mm -hmm. with um, these. And then can, can I make a suggestion that we just amend them with these and then you send it out and you look at it and then we get it moving forward? Right. Okay. Because we've worked on this pretty yeah. diligently in regards yeah. to this point. Okay. And if that's kind of where it's at, then. Yeah. I don't know that we can make any more changes than those, and we just move forward. Okay. Yeah. So we want some kind of intake form, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I'll, I can, like Marie said, I'll call or something. something. So so the committee yeah. members that um, that were working on this task to um, the examples of what they're going to look like, and then then. Um, then send that along to you, and then if you can put the sort of question there or application, I don't know the right word for one that can be yeah. an application um, into a whatever format the city would use yeah. for electronic purposes. I think we can make it, we could potentially make it available on the website, mm -hmm. like an online form, like um, which will take some time because we'll need like the end to. Our website person to put something together like that um or it could be often when clubs are interested they end up just reaching out to me via email exactly. to the Callahan email right. so that yeah, I can use yeah exactly so that will probably get used That's the most. most right um and actually that might be you could just put your on the website just say just direct them to that email um, here and then i can send them the form that right. might be the easiest I like yeah, that, that's exactly so. what we're thinking. Yeah. Okay. Really. Okay. Yeah, because then they can either print it, fill it out if they need to, or fill it out online. Yeah. So, so to do the club affair, hopefully there will be a lot of questions along those lines. And we so we should either have. are prepared to hand them the website or or the yeah. forms. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. kind of what we're working yeah. on. Yeah. Great. Okay. That'll be and great. And it is a it is a one page. Yes. Yeah. It's similar. It is very. Yeah. It is that. Yeah. Okay. So. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. We're good. Thank you. Thank you for that work. That's good. Um, anything else on club selection criteria? Okay, the next item is club survey, the committee creation. Um, obviously, I plan to help with that. So, because I have the original survey. Okay. Yeah. So I think but we need to pare it down. To we need to separate it because it actually is going to be different from yeah. what the original was. Yeah. It, yeah. We were gathering a whole important. bunch of information. Um, right. Because we didn't have it originally. Um, with the exception of the three clubs that are new, um, we may want to ask them to get the, the original one that we had. I think we can probably just, if we're going to have the clubs do a simplified one moving forward, we'll probably just have everybody do that one at the same time. Oh, we may, there, there, there may be information is what I'm trying to get at that was gathered in the um, original survey that won't be part of yeah the next regular well, ongoing yeah. and, 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 and more but moving fine. forward like if a new club were to enter we wouldn't have everybody do this like right. survey so I think right. no because it's ever gathered we the need from criteria them. right. Right. So, so, so when I see what you're saying, yeah, they didn't go through the criteria. So, so if someone, maybe if, yeah, maybe if some way we can just so we can have a new starting point this, from this give, point. Give us gotcha. information from what we previously gathered from gotcha. the other clubs. Yeah. And then going forward, everybody is using the same more prepared down. Because they go through the criteria and the yeah. survey down yeah. road. Okay, we gotcha. just need the criteria. And, and, yeah, we're, and we're trying to simplify it so people aren't overwhelmed and feel like they have to write everything down. So that was yeah. one of the things. That yeah. Was yeah. Yeah. They were all irritated. So should we set a task meeting to um, come up with that pared down simplified? Probably. So like that. What way should we do that? It's going to be hard. I got chips on next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that, for, is that for this or is that for yours? <laughs> no, it's for, it's for the... 
Yeah, I was going to say that's the public fair. Yeah. Is this before the public fair that you're doing the survey, or are you doing? Um, uh, there is a separate committee. Separate, um, separate but related. But related. Yeah. 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 Of close stuff. Um, so. Do we want to look in next week or do we want to look in the following week? I can't do it. Um, well, I'm going to Ireland. So, <laughs> so, uh, uh, if we do it the first part of next week, I can do it. But, do you leave? Um, I leave on the 23rd. You'll be here Wednesday. I'll be here Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming for Wednesday. I got you in. Okay. So, but I can't do it after that. Mm. So. So you're, talk, you're talking about next Wednesday at 15, is that what you mean? Yes. For your set. For your set. Um, so actually, I can do it until, so the 22nd? No. Like, uh, forward, yeah, no. <laughs> backwards, or <laughs> whichever right. you want to say, I can do it. But, but uh, that's going to be tricky. So I could do, um, yeah, I could do the 16th or house is open on the 16th. You can't, or what works for you, Karen? That can work. It, it just seems to work for anyone interested in doing that. Can work. Are you having it in the morning or afternoon? We can, we can be flexible. Okay. What day? So I have a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. That's Thursday. I can is, start is it and it's golf here. I can start as early as 11. Well, golf is all right. Yeah. So, 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 so um, what would work? I can do. I could do the 17th or um, the 20th. 17th is open at the house, 20th is not. We're doing a okay. shoot that day. We're the good. 17th is, 17th is open. Okay. Well, we want to do 17th anytime. Yes. What time? Is it morning or afternoon? Whatever. We're looking at 17th um, right now. 17th. I'm, I'm good Friday. either time. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'll send it today. today. Yeah, I'll Thank send it you. after this. Sure. Beautiful. So then I'm not doubling up going, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Here at the house. Yes. So. Oh, really good. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, it's here. Um, how here. long do so you want me to set aside for that? I think just an hour. An hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Really if we take more than that, boy. I think it would be pretty easy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, we have a meeting. Moving right along, another opportunity for a meeting <laughs> Galahan House Membership Program. Well, we did have the past meeting on yes. April 24th. Yes. And so, um, which we made great progress, and you can see on page six of our packet here mm -hmm. um, the results of, of our progress from that meeting. Um, just want to check with everyone and see if there's any feedback or um, about what you see. I really like that we said about patrons. Yes, it right? Just, that's the people. right ring of joy. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with what we're doing. I thought it worked really well. Mm -hmm. I have to add the EM behind my bronze in, oh. <laughs> in the tears. I noticed that after oh, yeah. I kind of went, ah, oh, here. Okay. So, you know, it's so that bronze with an E. Mm -hmm. But other than that, um, the, the tier levels, how are you feeling about the um, value levels that we've kind of. Does anybody adjust to those? They're great. It gives everybody an opportunity. I mean, you can yeah, donate so. as little as fifty or hundred dollars, or as much as a thousand and more. You know, it depends on where. I think that's the whole, that's the whole thing is we wanted to make everybody it's feel like that they, they can say, okay, I know I can only budget this, right? But they still feel good about it, right? They feel that's, still feel included. Mm -hmm. And what about the calendar? It's a January through December, so that it's updated every year. We, we take enough what's 
what's happened over the course of this year, for example, and then um, we can and we can even do monthly add them up and put them on a um, put them in a frame in front of the house, depending on our mind we want it. But then, at the at the close of the year, then we can do you know, one to one to twenty four mm -hmm. patrons of the Calhoun House with a full complete list. Great. Because that list will change. And it will change from year to year. But we didn't want to make it overwhelming to upkeep. Right. That was the big issue. Right. Didn't we talk about where it would be, that it might be displayed somewhere? Yes. Oh, and that gets yeah. down to yeah. um, on the donor list recognition under the benefits oh, okay. where, right. where it posted. Yeah. Board so, like, online on the city's website page for the Callahan House. Mm -hmm. In the Callahan House, in the glass covered frame in the front door. Mm -hmm. And nice. then, um, uh, in the city, the, the Civic Center, where the Calhoun House Advisory Board Monthly Agenda is oh, nice. And that's what, Which yeah, is an I excellent think. idea that Marnie brought up. She's like, hey, I, why don't we put it where our agenda is supposed to be? So, so people can see. Yeah. And there's room there for that. That's because. exactly what it's there for. Oh, okay. So let's use it. Yeah. And is this going to pertain then also to, like, um, community partnerships, like, for example, for the art and sips that we're doing this summer, the St. Brandon Cidery is like offering us discounted product, you know, or if we get donations for an event or something like that, this would be, we would put a, a monetary value on whatever they're donating and, and then be at this level of donership. So oh, donation yes. and partnership. Yeah. Yes, and I am. Yes, that's yes. what we're thinking. And then yes. in addition to that, so if we're dealing with somebody like the Cidery or somebody like that that has a logo, that's something you didn't discuss. Would we put their logos on our? Yeah, I think we have one for like private donors and one for community partnerships because we can use their logo, you know, and that because that's something that you kind of trade in value is like marketing on your behalf and letting the public know that you're a, a donor mm -hmm. um, or that you sponsored more of a sponsorship. It, 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 it's um, a way that we can get more funds to be honest. Yes. Yeah. I think would that be the same thing? Acknowledgement. I mean, I think it'd be the same thing. There would just be like the yeah. two sections so on the list, but right. same same tiers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For private donors and for oh, yeah. community Everybody sponsors. Yeah. yeah. Right. But then the logos maybe mm -hmm. on the bottom for the community sponsors. So That's same right. thing, but just you just know. listed on the bottom so yeah. they can see the logos. Yeah. We have a, a a partnership going. I think that's a great idea, but it wasn't. We didn't discuss that. No, but it's a great idea. idea. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, that's very easy to just incorporate that element into it. So, wonderful. Yeah. And then those benefits are, you know, along with the recognition, the newsletter access, the Calhoun House Custom Contact, and then an annual patrons only event. Um, keeping it kind of simple. It's, um, we have to keep in mind that this is a donor program, not a membership program. And so, they're not receiving something in return. Um, uh, so these benefits are, yes, recognition, yes, you get information, um, and you get inv invited to a patrons only event. And it would be something very nice, nice like, to acknowledge all the donors to be able to come and be together. all meet each other. But it's, yeah, it's not providing them any kind of you know, serious value or benefit back. It's right. more of an acknowledgement. Yes, that's a good point. Thank you. So. <laughs> And then um, we just, yeah, with respect to outreach and advertising strategy, these are the, the four that are, are listed. The fourth one being the most, um, while well, we added um, the, the designated communication dates as being the fourth one. So we have the, the constant contact, other appropriate city resources, and Brittany, you know, we're, we're going to kind of lean on you all to find out what would be the best approach there. But in house posting, of course, is easy here in the house. Mm -hmm. um, and um, with the designated communication dates, it's that's a, a January letter that would be a here's our program. This is this is the donor program. This is what it's for. Um, and then in, in October, uh, you send out a reminder letter um, because the timing of that is good. It's starting to wrap up the year and you know, um, catch people as they are finishing up their year end finances and budgeting and, and determining who they need to donate to. And then at all December open house events, which um, definitely catches everybody, not just anyone who's been on um, the 
done with lives or who we've had contact with, but anyone who comes in the house can be similar. And that would be so. just what is there all the time that's set up the list in the front, or how how would you be advertising it? Or when when, when, they, the when they come in and enter, it, and by the way, you can here's that you can sign up for emails, or we also have the opportunity okay, that so you can, you can join us. So whoever's the greeter should then say, "I'm going to point out this. This is our donors that, that are here, yeah, and here it's our patrons it's right here, and you're welcome to sign up and be one of the patrons." By the way, and you know, so yeah, you might catch people. Just you know what? I'm just wondering if it would be better if that were done after they've walked around a little instead of the minute they walk in the door. Yeah, getting them up. Yeah. yeah, I do think that that's a good idea. Yeah, that's so hard though because everybody leaves a, a different way. We just may have to have two people. We may have to have a breather and then we may have to have a departure. You know, we kind or of you do some stairs. And, uh, yes, I do it upstairs. Yeah. The nice thing about downstairs though is they'll be able to see the list. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so I think it's at the station for it. And, and, upstairs yeah. though. Yeah, but I think and it's here to the room. Yeah. yeah. I don't see it as any different than when we put our little box out there that people shove money in. I don't see that as any different. I understand you don't want to overwhelm people, but you know, and if you want more information, don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Or one of the other members for the that well, a lot of people wouldn't answer. know much, maybe uh, that they haven't been here before, so they wouldn't know whether they'd be interested until they've gone through. And then maybe if there isn't somebody to catch them on the way out, they'll forget to, you know, stop with the person, the greeter. I could do right upstairs, maybe instead of the station for it. Or, yeah. or it's part of the handout, or you know, yeah, it's it 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 handouts. I, that's what I was thinking. Two or three yeah. places, yeah. Yeah. a handout with the handout, yeah. and then um, I, I don't know. Want to be a patron of the Callahan yes. House? Little signage mm -hmm. there here like on the table. I, and, 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 yeah, yeah, well, I, I understand what you're saying, Cindy. It's not like I'm trying to. Like, it's just when you go to any other museum. Any other house, any art museum, any anything, they always have their patron thing first thing as you go. Yeah. Well, and, the and that's is good. I think the yeah. listing's good, but also drawing attention to it. And then if it's in the in the flyer information, as here's by the way, here's the information of the house, and included with that is would you want to be a patron? I don't. And then we're not trying to catch them on the back. Yes, I think we can flesh that out. Everybody's thinking about that a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we haven't made the decision today, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But let's, let's think about that and, and figure out in our own minds what, what feels, feels comfortable. Most comfortable most. Yeah. And whatever Effective. Betty agrees with. I think we want to tell them has an impact. Right. Should we yeah. set a follow up task meeting to be coming to with anything that we can flesh out and then be um, more complete? Just present it to the board and just be, move forward. Be more prepared for it, essentially being able to roll it up in July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's where we have a open house. July open house, or at least yeah. we, I know we want it for club, club affair. We get a ton of people here for art walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll want it. So, so and it's, it's pretty much right. There's some action items that you can do right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's pretty, pretty ready. Yeah. And constant contact would be a good place to. Send something out too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new about yeah. yeah, new program. Yeah, new program. Yeah. Do we want to come up with language now, or do you want to piggyback off of the club survey task meeting at the end of the hour or less of that, and then come up with language then? Let's piggyback and get it so that we can move forward with this. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I think so. So we'll just right after the 10 minutes. That's meeting, my suggestion. We'll do, we'll do okay. some questions. Yeah, that's on the 17th? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So do we want to set aside like Let's a, do it an hour, two hours for that total? Yeah. Time. I think if you, set, time. if you set yeah. two hours, a total, two hours yeah. a total, we're going to go with that. But okay. if you set Club two survey hours. and the donor program. Yes. Got it. Ready. Okay. Moving right along. Anything else on Club Serve on the uh, membership program or the patron program? 
Um, auto house revamp then is our next item. Okay. Um, there's a page here in the packet that's a little overwhelming, but um, <laughs> I just went ahead and copied in an email from Kevin because no, I thought I think yeah. that's great. part of yeah, it had yeah. a lot of information and so I just yes. threw it all in there. Um, so, and it just, you know, kind of a, he called it a napkin drawing here of, <laughs> of the uh, idea for the storage unit. So where we're at right now is, is needing storage for the tables and chairs that we um, have in house now, which we're very excited about. And options being either building a new storage unit in the auto house and kind of, you know, as part of the revamp of that space, mm -hmm. um, or potentially using the garden shed um, which would require, you know, some a little bit of augmentation to that, um, and then potentially a paved pathway so that the dollies can get through that area, um, or something that can be laid out as needed to get to that space. So I think we kind of want some feedback about if people are interested in the auto house or interested in the garden shed. Okay, um, I have a couple of thoughts and ideas, if I may. First off, the size of this in um, the auto house, I don't like. I think that the auto house is better used as a historic structure rather than a storage facility. So I think we need to scrap the idea of using the auto house to have storage inside of it. Um, we need to be able to access it and use it. Which is the purpose, because right now there's storage in it regardless. Right, the storage right. units that are in there are really not used for anything that needs to be in there. They're really not functional for our purposes. Right. So the idea of this is to make it a functional space, but when the space is in use for um, rentals or whatever it may be, it doesn't feel like a storage space because it's, it you looks, know. Looks nice yeah, we're not just like hiding. To tables and chairs behind some screens, and you can obviously see that they're there. Right. The other thing I want to mention is that all of the new items will not fit Good. in the garden shed the way that it is. Right. So I was thinking that too. And so my next thought is this: rather than um, I don't even know what's in the garden shed or how much space that would actually. I mean, if we were provide. to use that, it'd take up mm -hmm. the whole space. Mm -hmm. So and and I. I think it might be wise, since we're needing the ability to access and roll things in and out, is consider the pad of concrete that's right back there, mm -hmm. just against the fence in the corner, yeah. right behind the fence that kind of covers um, to where the garden is. Build a new structure there and make it look nice, but that can be an official storage structure that will yeah, I have that thought about that option. I think an in and out, roll. easy roll on that mm -hmm. concrete that's already there. Yeah, I and don't know how easy that is to get an additional structure built, or or how accepted that might be. Um, well, it, it be, but, but it is an option. It, it would be better, better potential. Option. It would be better than having it up against the historic structure. I, I, yeah, I'm. I'm that's. My, it, oh, over here behind the yeah. shed. Because mm -hmm. as it is, I don't know when the shed is place there but it does block the ability to care for the, 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 the structure and, and the, the structure of that and that was something itself. that we brought up and so rather than continue with that that isn't going to fit everything in it anyway mm -hmm. build a structure on the concrete pad that's already existing that can support the size and weight and rolling things in and out of it mm -hmm. and it's even more convenient and then that way you're not having to build another structure over there maybe put concrete pour concrete in there or put a temporary um rolling in that you know, mat that you can take out and put out when you need to roll something in and out it's like when you give a you know a mouse a cookie <laughs> How, how, how much more simple can we make this rather than um, have one thing that creates a need for something else and then a need to do something else and, and then that potentially piles into this bigger kind of mess for lack of a better word um, why don't we simplify it keep it to what we, we know is there the, the pad is there there is no parking back there there is no no cars or anything there's no need for anything there it's it, 
it's already concrete, it's solid, it's stable, mm -hmm. it's yeah, so it's what certainly kind of shelter you're talking about. Yeah, and and yeah. yeah. Can build something yeah. that can look complementary. Yeah. Obviously, it is completely a storage shed, it's not a storage, but it can complement. Yeah, but well, I think it's something we can the price run through the possibility. Well, and well, that's you know, this is not this um, is not expensive. inexpensive. I guess I failed to include the quote here, but it was not it was not inexpensive. Yeah. Um, but compared so, to building something, it's but then but then you know, I'm not, not sure the yeah. Where yeah. yeah, build yeah. off. Well, I think right. it's something you know we're tossing around all the different options. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's something we could. <laughs> See if I, I don't know in terms of there are like restrictions of adding structures yeah, I don't know within the city, so we could kind of talk to Ben when he gets back. But yeah, I mean, basically, like, you know, here's this quote we requested a quote for paving and augmenting of the garden shed, and then we could see what this looks like also and just compare all of the options. Right. The other option is keep the auto house as is and hide a bunch of tables and chairs behind the screens and no, the I, I, I know storage unit that's, that's in there is not, you know, it's not original. No. It's not functional. No. So that was the other thing is kind of replace something that's not, not aesthetic or original or functional with something that is that would match the uh, cabinetry that's in the kitchenette right. that is thought to be original or at least period appropriate um, with right. something that looks well, yeah, let's, let's you're keep our options open yeah. and, and see what we can come up with. This I think this is a good idea for concrete-wise, and then also simplifying. I think if we put it on concrete, you don't have to put pads out or anything when you're rolling it out. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can roll things in and out pretty efficiently there, unless you're planning on using that concrete pad for something else during the functions, which I can't. I can't. Catering uses it some, but they would certainly they would still have enough space and for their purposes. So, so this but. is one of those things that this might be the long term fix of, of doing that without additional expenditure in the house in the auto house or use of the space. That's a significant change. You're going from like foot and a half to six feet. Mm -hmm. That's significant. That's too much space in the historic structure. I think that space and that that building is better used for clubs, events, yeah. touring, and that's the purpose. Is that when it's would, used for those things, it doesn't look like it's yeah, just right. yeah. track. Yeah. we're trying to throw tarps over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I recognize yeah. that we have to do something that it's I, so I, I, charming up there. I mean, and it really does Sorry, tell a story it. about yeah. the the chauffeur and his life in this separate room and yeah. what it was like. Well, I, if anybody's available after this, it could be nice to go out and just kind of visualize and, and see the tables and chairs now, how much space they're taking up and they, what it would yes. look we, like, how it would help benefit that space, but it's not the only option. Right. I, so. I, 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 I personally am not completely against this. I just want to flush out this other option. Yeah, there's, see there's what other choice we have. Yeah, I'm other options. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Finding, knowing how much space we need to store whatever we're storing. Yeah, to visualize then, it, I think is helpful. And then deciding to come there. But yeah. so, so I've got a question. So if this were, would this help absolutely everything you need? If we yes, and it ends the existing tables and chairs that are there. And so it would house it be very absolutely accessible. everything, and we wouldn't have to do any put anything into the shed. Correct. Okay. Yeah. What's stored in the shed now? Parks, garden items, and I checked with them, and they don't need as much space as is in there. A lot of it is like over winter or seasonal stuff that can go in the basement of the auto house, and they would just need a little bit of space for you know. A few things that they're using during the season. So, so keeping keeping that structure there is is a necessity. The, the current shed. It sounds like it's not keeping it, it as opposed like not. to. I'm not sure. Anything, I'm sorry. It sounds like the shed is not necessary. How, how necessary is the shed? Because personally, I can't stand it. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I think they would remove it and then build another structure for this additional storage. Okay. Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that would make any sense to remove it and then build more storage. If anything, we would augment it to be this storage. Uh -huh. yeah. Could it be moved? Yeah. Well, could we? Could, could it then be shifted moved to the? I mean, here's the thing: Parks does use it, 
but they could potentially shift to use the basement of an autohouse instead. But they do need some storage in there, well, which would but, be difficult but, but if the question is the tables and chairs is and what they need, but right. it's not yeah. possible. I hear what you're saying. What I'm saying is that then would it be moved away from the storage structure? And where it's sitting yeah, can it should be. Yeah. And it should be moved. And Put if, on the if, if all of the tables and chairs do not fit in the shed, okay, fine. But can the shed be moved? Do you think that's a separate can it be removed or can it be, can it be moved or, or built onto to be the bigger space that you would need for that's, tables and chairs? That's where you need it. Out on so, the concrete path. Maybe. I don't know. That's, that's an option. Asking. It's a possible option. Sure. Okay. I mean, it's, it's worth looking into. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of possible I'm options here. So she's like, saying that's, am I correct? And that's what you're saying. You want it away from the historic structure. It, I prefer can, to, we, and then it, it eliminates that that space back there for the homeless people to hide in too. It takes care of their back there regardless, which is another issue that we're being more it's being worked on. But anyhow, okay. um, well, that's another separate issue. Sorry, sorry. Well, I, don't I, don't know, I think what I'm saying is I like <clears throat> the most the best idea I think is to take that shed and move it over onto the concrete pad. Often add on to it whatever you need to alter it, however. alter it however you need to, but it's on the concrete pad there in that corner behind the fence, and it's no longer up against no the longer up against the, the carriage house. Um, carriage house, yeah. Okay, well, that's and, it's so yeah. and it actually serves a purpose of of truly storing things that need to be stored, the tables yeah. and chairs. And if there's, I mean, the, depending on how you alter it, it could be used as the garden shed. I mean, a storage shed. Yeah. It, it can be moved. Yeah. I mean, you can put it on pipes and roll it over and shift it off. It's it, it's it, it can be moved. It's not in the right. Well, it's worth looking into. Yes. Sure. Just what you need. Something else on your plate. Well, I mean, we want to look at all the options before yeah, we, we really do. Yeah, absolutely. Thing. So, yeah. I, just do, I do feel that I'm not working with house is better. In, 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 in truth, moving a shed is really not overly difficult. Mm -hmm. I know it seems like it is, but I've done it. Um, I, like, I like that idea best. That's true. Yes. Okay. Um, let's go on to item G the UV protection in the library and the drapes. Yes, so I met with oh, Leslie, yeah. um, and she was very helpful in um, showing what it would look like if we um, pared the material down. Um, and and then we both were looking at it and she said, you know, here's the thought. She said, you could just go ahead and remove the drapes. Go ahead and take them down, you know, neatly fold them up and store them and, and see how they how it looks just without the, the summer and see what you all think then. Um, because if you can, if you, if you get them down and you realize this is fabulous without anything, let's just go with that, then that might be your decision. She said, or if you get them down and you're like, yeah, we need a little something there, then we can go ahead and bring the drapes back out, then we can modify them then and, and, and um, make it so that it's, of course, not showing. more showing of the windows. Personally, I love still, that it's has, really showing the windows, the windows themselves. Woodwork is beautiful. Okay. I those and are the it opens puzzles. up the space and it feels like it brings the gardens right in. Oh yeah, all of these are fantastic. What we're specifically talking is about is the library, right? And that's I will have to walk about. in there and, and take a peek. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think her suggestion is a good one that we could take the drapes down for the summer and, and, and keep see how that goes. See goes. how it looks with without like anything the on them. And well, the lace the is coming back today, so we can just take those off and just put that back on for yeah. now and, and right. see it next time you're in. Right. And then I think the so only other concern is that that UV protection yeah. is not going to happen until September. And well, because well, so where we're at with it right now is the company that's going to actually be doing the film is looking into whether they can remove the storms and, and get that done, or at least most of them. Um, because originally we wanted Empire, who you know, created the storms, 
to remove them for Scottish to be able to put the UV on, but they can't do it until October. Um, so we're looking at having the company that's doing the film remove them sooner, or at least do most of them, which they feel confident that they can do. Which um, company is that? Uh, Scottish Glass. Um, so I think we might try to move forward with that. They're they're augmenting their quote to see what it looks like for that additional work. And I also requested a quote from Empire to see how much they would charge us to do it so we can prepare it that way. Okay. So we're seeing about trying to get it done sooner, but if not, at least it should be in October. I think. Yeah. 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 And the curtains, I don't know if everybody heard, the curtains are just being cleaned right now, which is why they're all oh, on these. I just think it looks great mm -hmm. without yeah. it. I'm yeah. sorry, but I just walked through there to the library and <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, it's really cool. Is it nice? Isn't it beautiful? Just, and yeah. it brings the gardens oh, right in. Fan, right? It really makes <laughs> it the Callahan house and guard. Mm -hmm. It just pulls it in. Yeah. I mean, particularly this time of year. It is so beautiful. Yes. So I think that's a good plan, right? Uh, I well, support I all in agreement. Go ahead and, yeah. and take the drapes down and meet. We need to take a vote. We need to store them and just. Oh. Almost the Empire of Sand. Uh, I'll make October. a motion. A motion that. That, that that's what we do as what was suggested by um, by Karen and, and Leslie that, that we take the, the grapes down for now. Um, and see how it looks and like reassess, and reassess, and reassess, and reassess at a, a later time. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Right. Can I second that? <laughs> yes, you can. Can I? Yeah. yeah. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Anybody against it? No. Okay. Let's carry on. Uh, the next item is future restoration and preservation. Oh, I mean, sorry. I moved it. Mine moved. The next item is future restoration and preservation. I didn't know if that still needed to be on here right. for now. I think can we just put a that follow up. Into, can we put that into future? Yeah. Thank you. Because I do think That's that it right. is something that we need, need to, to follow up on. Need to stay on top yeah. because we need to identify. Our Yeah, we need to identify what needs to be um, yeah. taken care of. The list is updated, which everybody has. Um, the follow-up also is that for CIP, again, they they turned in for the repointing. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. And that's the only thing, hoping that that means you yeah. know, that it might get approved. Um, and just for clarification, CIP is really more of a five-year, is it? Yeah, like capital five improvement projects, the five-year. Off that yeah. might be but if but but the other one is the annual um, one that's in the budget, right? That is a uh, well put in for this. If you have to use it for something else, it's acceptable. As long yes, as they're both that. So there's done. the capital improvement projects, which is where we're putting it, which is a larger larger ticket yeah. item, right? Yeah. So that's where we're putting in the repointing again, oh, right? Yeah. That will get approved. Yeah. Yes, and if it and doesn't, then, th th it shows that we've asked several times, and yeah. we can go for yeah. Months. Eventually, hopefully, you know, right? But so that's, that's the idea. Point. Then the other one is the public building fund, yeah. uh, the PB one forty five, which is some. Those are large, but smaller than the CIP kind of ticket items, and that is all still on a five year basis, but. Like, let's say we allocate, you know, in 2024, we wanted to use PB 45 for such and such, but we ended up using it for this other thing. And that money does roll over from year to year. Okay. Um, so, but it has to be used for specific things that enhance the um, public use of the facility. Such, for example, this year, like the tables and chairs is one of those things that we're allocating to PB 145, the piano. Right. Like that. So, so, yeah, generally not a problem, yeah. but. The so supplies would not. That's that doesn't really fit in that category. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that on um, PB one forty five? Yeah, PB one forty five. Yeah, it is the public building fund. PBF one forty five. And so we can say so, for the so next, those are next month's already in place months. for you know the one that needed to be turned in this year for twenty twenty nine. I guess. Right. Exactly. Um, but just identifying in general things that need to be done, which I, we have done over the past few months and are all on that list. Right. I guess it's maybe thinking about like what are, what are their priorities, what do we want to be thinking about doing in 2024, 2025. Right. So if anybody has ideas on that, I guess we can just keep that on future agenda items. Right. And that's right. That's all so the updated list items. things are being worked on or if there's things that you have, you know, that you, can, you want to prioritize them, let me know. 
Maybe so. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay, on to the next item, which is the past and present uh, board fall tea. We're going to have a meeting right after this meeting, yes. correct? Yes. Correct. Is there anything else anybody wants to? It will be short and sweet. Okay. Talking about the food, talking about uh, okay. the language update on invitation. Okay. But um, All right. it will be really concise. Yeah. Um, I would like to, I guess, revisit a little bit like last year. It was kind of a scramble. Mm -hmm. um, and we ended up just purchasing food from Shemaine's. Um, so that was rather pricey, was it not? It was. And so having, I guess, a, a plan in place this year so that it's okay. important. Um, yeah, just to, so whether it's, you know, we end up catering in house or whatever that plan's going to be, but the, you know. Yeah. And I think it's, yeah. I, I think, yeah. We're, 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 the idea is we're not for us to. Just, and yeah. not be an um, elaborate, expensive right. thing. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And that's, the idea is that's to always, like have a major cost for that event. Right. So that's, that's always been. Yeah. The, and for the, the board, ideally, to okay. manage that, if you all could, right. with whatever help I can provide. I think one of the things that was a concern is we had always wanted to donate in, uh, or, or mention that we could bring in items that we personally made and that yes. was shut down. So, but it, we found new information about our food license and that is something that we can do. Okay, so right. that's, 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 that's what I want to clarify. So, yes, yeah. which we found out, you know, right. last year at that time. But yeah, so you, you could make food and bring it in if you make it. And that's very And that will make a huge difference because I can well, join. Well, was it I can cook up a storm and I made it. Um, the, we just got clarification on the way that our food license works, um, and so from uh, Boulder County Public Health. So, so yes, that is a possibility. If that's something that we all want to do, which I think would be yes. So, 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 yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for yeah, that. I just wanted to clarify during the meeting now, so yeah. when we discuss it right after this, yeah. we'll be moving along. Um, and then Rachel's here, so if, if we're done with the fall tea for now, we Rachel, are, if you want to join us, please, and then we can skip to branding. Hello. Hi. Thank you for being here. So, I have some stuff. Visualizing branding. I don't need one for everybody. That's a super special. That's a package. We have some of the brand guides in the packets. That's yes. all. The brand guides in the packets. This is what yeah. it could look like implemented in materials. Yes. For you guys. Um, so, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, my name is Rachel. I'm the brand manager for the city of Walmart. I have a, a presentation, but I mean, we can just talk through it. Like, like the old days and like history. Yeah, the old days. And a little bit about, I mean, I gave some information about like what this process has looked like, but um, basically, you know, Rachel and I identified that we would like for Callahan to have its own brand since it's so such an original facility within the city. And then uh, Rachel had to go through the process of getting that approved uh, by the city manager to move forward with a separate brand, which is a really exciting thing. Um, and yeah, and, and then basically, and like I mentioned, I saw the branding for the first time when you all saw it um, and shared it with you. So now it's being worked on, it's in the process, but this is an opportunity to provide feedback um, to Rachel for what she's doing. Cool. So this is the brand. You guys have the brand guide that I've created. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what you have to go through to get a brand exception for the city of Longmont. Um, I have some examples of what the city branding is. Um, and so basically how this started is that I am celebrating with my wedding reception Yay. on May 26th here. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, and I, when I first, before Brittany got here, started uh, talking to folks at the Callahan house, I received materials that were um, hand drawn and um, a little uh -huh. not exactly what we would want it to be. And I'm a graphic designer, so I could not help myself. 
Um, Great <laughs> excuse. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, this is not going to do it for me. And then this is the city branding, and so it has that bright orange color. Um, and was designed to reflect the demographics of our community and not necessarily reflect the historicity of a historic home in Longmont. So this brand doesn't feel right. I think we can all agree with that, that this doesn't mm -hmm. feel like a Callahan House brand. So then it's a fun little challenge for me because how do we take this very modern organic brand which most people don't like. Which most people don't like. I love it. it, it, it yeah. To be honest, I love that. most I people love it. do not like it. Yeah. Oh, I like, like it so much it, it, than the old one. They, they well, go back that's the, the reference one. point, right? So it the, the, old the old one. Um, it's better than the old one, but a lot of folks, it's, I mean, it's blue and orange. It's, it's a choice that we made before I got here, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, so, you know, and I apologize because I, 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 I ever spoke with it. Most people that have lived here for forever oh, I know. don't like it. They <laughs> I have heard that so to you. nonstop it. that it's so <laughs> blah. Yeah, and oh, it, it's, it, so it, it's it's not historically accurate, yeah. and they would, oh, they will like the old funny. seal better. Well, yeah, I think I've heard that a lot throughout my uh, job here. Um, <laughs> we can't go back. <laughs> we paid lots of money to get this, so we're we're making it work. And how that happens? Well, I'm curious. I, how did that happen? Because did they get a lot of community import? I guess yes. I don't. Oh yeah, because that was that was a it was deal. several years ago, but. I have heard nonstop complaints about it. It's 29, so it was implemented in 2019, and um, there was so, I had, so that was like my first two months on the job was reading through so all the great. documents of like how they got to, got to this point. So basically they made the brand, and then we're like, wow, this is a full-time job for somebody to like steward this. Um, and they hired me. And um, so I like learned how they got here. I went through all the focus groups line by line, figured out how they got, um, the, the imagery for like the, the valleys and the, the mountains and the rivers and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so then my job is basically, basically just making it work work for us. Yeah. Um, and so there's, Thank you for doing that. Yeah, there's a huge process to get an exception from the brand because the number one thing with branding is consistency. Mm -hmm. So if we are giving every department and everybody who wants one a different logo, then it oh, kind so of defeats yeah. the purpose, purpose of the brand. Yeah. Yeah. So we only had two until the Callahan House. Um, what does this say? I wrote this. <laughs> okay, so there's only next light in the museum before Callahan House conversation started. And so in order to do that, I am the steward of the brand. I make sure that everything is implemented property, properly. The city manager is the final person to say, yeah, or nay. Um, so, so it doesn't even go through city council. Nope. It's yeah. totally directed by the city manager. Yeah. And Rachel had to put together, yeah. you know, an idea for the brand right. in order to take it to Harold and get that approval. So that's yeah. the process. So what yeah. it, what you have to do is you have to kind of prove that you need a different brand, which we did for Callahan House because we already have weddings here. The home is um, historic. Our branding doesn't match the city. Um, and so we prove that to him, and then the second step is he, he needs some examples before he can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. He can't just be like, do whatever you want. Right. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and so this is what I came up with, and you'll see where we are in the process later that this is not final. So if you guys have um, revisions that I can make, and so some I can't make, so if it's not ADA compliant, there's some rules around um, contrast, colors, fonts, that. Um, I can't change because that's the law. And then also it has to stay within the brand family. So um, I'll, I'll show. And, Thanks. <laughs> um, so that's right. where we are. So I did the, the research and I put all the stuff together and we were like, this is what wedding venues do. And this, what we're doing right now is not good. And so the, <laughs> other, the other component of my job is that the materials that we were using, not the ones that you created, although also the ones that you created. That's we're not. <laughs> they're not ADA. We're not. They're not ADA compliant, no. and they're not 
branded. And so therefore it would have been my job to be like, no, you need to use city branding. And I said, I don't like that. So I did this. So, But coming from what we had, which was hand drawn and yeah, and, information. And so even I, the little packets like, that was given was intermediary and, and, and something better until we could get Rachel to yeah. do this great stuff. So I don't know if this is harder than it looks. I'm impressed because I've been flipped through all over the place. At this I forgot the museum was not good. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. museum was the newest so one, and they went through a very extensive process of trying to prove why they needed a new logo. They were denied at first, um, and then really? yes, and I'm they were all totally taken back by that. Yeah, yeah. and they. They kind of just asked and didn't put the oomph behind it that they needed uh -huh. to. Yeah. And he was like, well, if you're just going to ask, no. <laughs> um, and then they went through the whole research process that they should have gone through. Um, and then they came up with this. And so you can see that this is the city branding, next light, the museum, and what I'm proposing for Callahan House. I'm wondering if you want yeah, to see I can see it. Yeah. Okay, we can see, though. I'm that's not good. good. Okay. This okay. Is good. Thank, you. Thank, you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. And so a part of a brand family means that they have to have some <coughs> visual link that you have to be able to tell that they belong to one another. In this case, it's the color palette and the fonts. They're all the same fonts. And so they have different thicknesses, but the, sorry, getting all designy, the stroke <laughs> and the curvature um, and the kerning is all the same. So, um, there's that visual consistency that goes around. Um, they highlight different parts of our brand palette. Um, so like the city is using the dark blues and the oranges. The museum's also using dark blues, but they have the green out front. Um, Next Light has that teal color I, I don't like. Um, <laughs> and then, so for Callahan House, we'll just keep it with the blues on the logo, but then there is, Song. This pink color that I've also included that's kind of like a persimmon. It's kind of had it in the palette package, yeah. yeah. which I thought was great. Yeah, which I mean, yeah, we got yeah. 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 I said a pinkish something. Yeah, yeah. something that wasn't yeah. as harsh. And yeah. yeah, and then I also included the cream. The cream is not in our brand palette for the city of Walmart, but I figured. No, we would need a softer yeah. for for weddings. Yeah, it's it's a necessity. So. Yeah. These kind of have to look like they belong together, and that's what the city manager is looking for when he wants to approve different things. He wants to make sure that we are not completely removing the city from this organization, and I think it's more obvious with things like the museum and Nextlight. If city taxpayer dollars are going towards something, it should be obvious that it's a part of the city, and right. like no question about it there right. for transparency. So, Rachel came and hand drew the gates and then turned them into wow. what is there. So, so the, yeah, this the is the gates. <laughs> it's so not a stock wow. gate. These are the Callahan gates. Yeah. So the, which cool. gates? The, the, front, the front. This west gate over here where there's the, the okay. French yeah. 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 style so ones. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Nice. So um, very cool. Yes. My God bless my husband. He just walks around with me and I'm like, I'm gonna draw this fence. <laughs> and he's like, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, I'll get coffee. <laughs> so then we, we start with, um, okay, we need a new brand. It has to match the city branding. What else does it need? It needs to be ADA compliant, which means the contrast works and it, folks with most types of sight impairments can read it. So we're not talking about blindness, obviously, because that's not a word. But folks who are colorblind and all kinds of stuff, cataracts, will still be able to see this level of contrast. Um, it needs to be clear and concise for equity purposes. We don't want crazy fancy taglines that are going to be hard to translate into another language or it doesn't come across in the same tone or voice in a different language. So clear, concise language. We need alignment with the city brand I talked about and a complement to these other logos. Which was a challenge because we're taking a Victorian house and trying to put it in a modern brand family. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is yeah. Yeah. It so seemed possible. <laughs> she did it. And so this is what we came up with. And so I've been calling these the wallpapers. These mm -hmm. like intricate designs that we use um, in backgrounds essentially, or to fill space, kind of like you can see 
Um, at the beginning of the brand, we have our palette. We have the logo with the gates, and we can also use the logo, this is the linear version it's called, um, without the gates. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so you can have Callahan House if you want to have it on a letterhead or something, and you don't want it like chunky the way it is. Um, and we also have different elements that are not on this slide, but they are in the brand packet of like, that are a little more soft. There's teapots, there's flowers, saw that. there's right. um, elements that take it away from that modern branding, but we use delicately and not as the main elements, but they right. can be there to soften um, a very modern brand. Um, Would those be not necessarily near the logo, but somewhere in a communication, these yeah. other elements. Exactly, so if you're making a flyer, you know, you would have the logo at the top or at the bottom or something, mm -hmm. and then all these other elements can kind of fill in. So what your eye is being drawn to is the softness mm -hmm. and not, people kind of glaze over when there's logos on the bottom of things most of the time, when it's just yeah. supposed to be like, this is who it's with. Mm -hmm. So if most of the stuff is soft, it appears soft. So that's what we're going with, and then, Oh, here. Here's where we are in the process. We identified a need. I got hand drawn things and I was like, blah, and could not miss them. Um, we collected data. We went through a lot of other wedding websites and I sat down with the city manager and showed them what they looked like mm -hmm. and that they did not look like the city branding. Um, and also the fact that the branding couldn't stay the same because it wasn't ADA compliant and the materials were aging. So, um, that's what happened. We produce a design and proposal. That's what you're seeing. Um, apparently. City manager said yes. House manager said yes. Input from advisory board. That's where we are right now. And then we do revisions if I can, if the fonts work, if the contrast is good, whatever, all that stuff. And then I have to approve again. That's easy this time. I'm doing it. So, um, <laughs> but if you outsource, like if you're hiring somebody out here. Um, and then we implement so that we change all of our materials over to this new brand. And so the wedding stuff is actually almost done and all of this is easy to tweak. Um, so this is what Brittany would send out to her clients. And they say, well, what's going on? What do I have to know? And then they have these, this informational stuff. And then I just stapled them on the end, but the last two pages are actually two separate flyers too. So, um, yeah. Okay. This okay. is very impressive. Yeah. You can work on this. This is, is, wow. it, it, is amazing. Yes. Yeah. We are very lucky. Yeah. I was just sitting here thinking so that cool. she could be working for the city of Denver. I <laughs> Pass. Pass. But thank you. Our house. Thank you. I'll stay right here. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Our house. I like Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get my notebook and then I'll write down. Sorry. So these are just, yeah. These are just other people's competence. That they can add on. That they can add on. These are ours. I love these. Yes. So these are, you're working with a preferred DJ and a preferred photographer. And you bring this to our clients. Which is wonderful. Which we had. Yeah. It's a super cool way to make those connections within the community and then offer you know that discount to our clients it gives, it gives us more opportunity for rentals and it gives these um, vendors more opportunity for clients I, I guess in the past just reading which you may or may not be aware the vendors always came and we approved which vendors were going to work through or on the board is, is that not true that they were put forth before the board always, but, always. Always. No. But, I, but I think that, that you're not limiting people to just oh no this, it's this just a, it's a, a, a special offer for our clients if people want to cool. utilize this offering that's, that's certainly not weird too as a somebody who just went through yeah. that folks are like these are the ones we work with and yeah. like, so there's like and it helps and, it's a perk, and, right? and, 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 and they don't have to and yeah. they know yeah. the system's better and therefore you're not yeah and I have daughters that have gotten married and let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's and, overwhelming too. Like find uses, a caterer. Call it, yeah. you know, but it so, helps yeah. our clients make their planning easier. And with the photographer, um, her like sort of trade for being our preferred is doing the style shoot for us for free. Nice. Is huge. So to get, mm -hmm. you know, some updated material and things like that. So nice. it's, it's really cool. Um, personally, I want to thank you. I think so far, I love the flowers and, and certain things that I understand um, a little better about all the hoops you're jumping through. And I, these are so much better than the hand-drawn things that you've done. But 
But um, the Callahan House and Garden, I, I really like that it's the Callahan House and Garden, but it's missing the historic aspect. Of okay. It. And that was something, you know, like the city of Longmont, Colorado, and then it says Callahan, could we put historic Callahan House and Garden somewhere, historic somewhere mm -hmm. in, in that? That was one of my suggestions that branding wise that you know even if it's in a littler font above it i know it makes it bigger but and i like the fact that of the of the gate but uh what, what about what was is there any way that we could incorporate the old the gate that you walk through uh, that we've used in the past document wise uh, well i love what you did and i think you did an excellent job i'm actually what it is out there now something that has been used in the past just for um well it's just it has not been on a city uh, basis like what you're with my it's, it's in like it's the been, material that i yeah, know what you're talking about like that. it includes yeah. the color yeah i don't know if that's even a possibility to include something like the color the or is it is each not I, clean? Is well, that I think I can find the version that I was playing around with this. I think what I came to was that it looks bad oh. <laughs> um, with the modern. It, it just doesn't go with. Oh, the it modern. doesn't go it's with hard the modern. To produce in a lot of materials. Okay. Yeah, true. you know something more stylistic is easier to use. Yeah, so because what this is, is, has a little because this is more like three dimensional. Yeah, yeah, it's, an like, image. it cannot be used so easily with. And it's not as clean. Two dimensions. It's not as clean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, let me. Okay, that was the only thing I was thinking. I was like, oh. <laughs> it, 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 it's the historic aspect yes. of it, I don't and know that's the only the it's only thing. Right. Otherwise, I think I love the palette. I, I I think it's great. I am and have a better understanding now that you're here and have spoken with us of how many hoops you jump through, yeah. and that this is something that has been ne needed for a long time. And I, I just love that it, it is so much cleaner and, and um, when somebody comes in, they can read here, this is, and it looks much more professional. Right. And and the fact that we can, so so you mentioned what other hoops, um, and I'm like, well, you, you gotta do what? Um, that will, we meet all the criteria of what, what was that standard that you saw my face so you said that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's ADA compliance. That's uh -huh. non-negotiable. That's the law. Um, there's, it has to be inside the brand family. And that is a internal thing that the city manager will not approve a brand exception if it does not exist in the brand family. Um, and so that means that it has to keep this modern design, which is, I, if I was just making something up, it would look very different, but since it has to be in this brand family, this is kind of what I want fun. Um, there's clear and concise for equity. We want something to translate easily, and um, it just has to look good for the other ones too. So it can have the same colors and it can have the same font, but if it doesn't look right with the other, it stuff, doesn't mesh. Yeah, and have the clean. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I I just didn't hear it, but when you were talking about the pillar. Did you say there was a possibility of just simplifying that look? It uh, looks funny. Without the flowers, maybe? Yeah, it looks funny flowers. in the branding. Let me yeah. see what I can do. So I, I'm going to suggest that we keep the logo just the gates for simplicity, mm -hmm. but then we could add something like this as an element. So we could put it as in the background on the pages or something so that it's still like here for us to use. But then the logo, and remember, we're not blowing the logo up. It's usually in a small place right. in the corner, mm -hmm. and it can still say part of the brand family. So let me see what I can do with this, and maybe it doesn't have to be as modern um, as the other elements are, because I definitely tweaked it a little bit with our teapots. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just fine. <laughs> so, 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 so my only thing off. is historic if we can have historic i agree i totally agree with that that, that was just yeah. the only yeah. and i also see the, the the simplicity of this i think is important because we're talking to new generations so mm -hmm. let's really are. get young people involved in yeah, this and, true. you know and that that's, that's sort of um 
it can it can appeal to all. It's very basic and yes, yeah. it is. So, so, so it's it kind of industrial and, looking and, too. Yeah, yeah. The style shoot that we're doing are very um, contemporary couples and and styles mm -hmm. and things like that because we want to make sure that you know everybody we're knows that this is a place for anybody. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't have to wear your Victorian wedding right. dress. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. yeah. I just. I know I just came back from a train day, so I'm new to everything here. But um, my only thought with the, the word historic is, is that the language that you were, if that's what you're branding this house and all of your language moving forward, like I just Google Callahan House and it says City of Long Long Callahan House. It doesn't say historic Callahan House. So if you add historic to this, that I feel has to trickle everywhere. And Brittany's mm -hmm. new phone messages manager of the historic Callahan house historic mm -hmm. yeah. you know that like it has to mirror yeah and the last branding us as yeah. historic yeah and maybe the historic that... is inherent and it doesn't I don't know. and it's referenced it's on the website like, uh, but it's the the house house but doesn't say historic yeah. right, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. The... Correct. i mean it tells you when it was built they know it was historic right yeah, yeah. so yeah. maybe it's maybe it's there um, right. that's a really good point I, I understand that would trickle down. I, I completely understand that. But maybe that's kind of my point, is that there are a lot of people here in town that don't know about the history of, of this. And, and, and again, it sets us apart. So the Callahan House and Garden, historic Callahan House and Garden, I don't think that's a... There might be some options to incorporate it. The ways. I can give you some. Yeah. So let me give you some. Yeah. See, this is exactly some ideas, why so it's here. we're talking to the gal that does it. So mm -hmm. that's why. And I understand. That oh my just God, it's more, more, like, more work and oh, more it's like she wore us the whole language. Yeah. surrounding it would have to change. And yeah. so there are different logos for different occasions. So there's cool. the main logo, and then there are also different logos. I'm going to give you an example. Um, of their different logo usage. Sorry, everybody wants to talk to me. Okay, so sometimes the museum just says Longmont Museum and it doesn't have these taglines on there. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it does, depending on what they're using it for. So maybe we can have a version that says historic dot 1892 dot whatever we think mm -hmm. is appropriate mm -hmm. to have underneath there well, that but it wouldn't be historic Callahan house it would still read as Callahan mm -hmm. house but it would have that element of you know that, that, that would work like that. Right. That that's perfectly <laughs> win-win yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 and then that way so when you think about it if your letterhead is main logo gates right this one. Mm -hmm. right. um a flyer for a community event that like has something to do with the relevance of the house, tea party, something like that, historic, 1892. Oh, the house you know, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, whatever. So beautiful. That's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking. Cool. Yeah, yeah. and it clarifies it. Yeah, Great. I think if we were to add a historic on the top, yes, we would have to do exactly what you're talking about, and it will look funny. Mm -hmm. Um, but if it's something that you guys are really passionate about, let me pull the, let me make this and see how you guys feel. And if you guys are like, I you know, that, 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 <laughs> we can work on it. <laughs> we'd love to see what you come up with. I yeah, that encompasses really what I want. Cool. So that would, yeah. Awesome. That's That's yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. My heart hurt. I love yeah. the win wins. You have a cool job. I do yeah. have a cool job. Yeah. I do. I want to. I just want to talk about. It takes talent. It does. Yes. Very cool. Yes. Thank you. I just cool. want to talk about how cool it was. I think there's very few jobs where you like see the immediate impact so right. frequently. Game changer. And so like I became. <laughs> It was like a month ago now where I came for our final walkthrough before the party yeah. and I like put these out on the table and the kid was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then we started drawing and like the bar will go here and this will go here. Yeah. 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 So like, I was like, but it's, people don't usually get to have that kind of oh. like, you know, you're just a cog in a machine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah. 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 so it's been very, that's really cool for us. Even just like the new maps have been like huge. Yes. Yes. yes, this to me so. is amazing. Again, thank you for all your work. And I would love the idea that we could bring in a historic element somewhere so it ties into the past. Do you have a digital version of this? Mm -hmm. Can you send it to me? Yes. Yes. And I understand that it's not clean where it is, but but I, if we can encompass it, 
and sneak a little history in there. Sneak a little history in the modern. Let me clean up the lines. Let me do do stuff. Um, let me make it a vector image so you can scale it um, without it getting pixelized. And yeah, then I don't have a problem with that. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. And if, from all you've done here, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is amazing. Good. I'm and so glad you guys are here. Thank you for being open to any input that we have yes. as well. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a part of the process. We just don't want to be the. I have been in meetings where they're like, what should we do? And then oh, yeah. it's oh, very geez. hard to like <laughs> find it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's hard to Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, let like, me let's think about something. what we should do. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me bring something. <laughs> 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 right. yeah. 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 Start from there. Start yeah. to work from there. Have, have the ability to make some quick little yeah. modifications to the. Yeah. Uh, okay, so on the first floor. Um, I, um, I actually changed entry to foyer because that's what we call it. I don't know if you want to make that official correction because we've got parlor, we've got music room, we've got library. I think you may want to put foyer because that is what we call it. That's name. officially yeah. what we call it. Um, okay. Uh, is that is that one of those things that is yes. not modern enough? Hopefully no, that's I'm I'm modern. worried about the aesthetic. I am not worried about the the content. Okay. She okay. did this based on what I sent her. So. Yes. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> and it's, it's all of excellent. this was just the first draft. Yeah, yeah, first. it's yeah. excellent. Okay. And so I just thought, oh, hmm. so um, the um, the uh, I know you're closet. using WC as a water closet, right? Yeah. That's an actual closet. The the, the lavatory. Okay. Is this. <laughs> yeah. I so you'll want to move that to there. Remove the two. Yeah. You know. Um, perfect. In close porch is what we refer to it uh, in, in the tour guide. So if we're wanting to be consistent with yeah. language, um, I would recommend that. In closed porch as opposed to sleeping porch? No, that's, 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 that's the first floor. Sleeping porch, porch is upstairs. Oh, so that was just first floor. Yeah, so the floor okay, here is um, in closed porch. And then the lavatory there, and that's, a, that's an actual class. Um, on the second floor, um, rather than having bridal suite, I think that we decided we had needed to go to the guest room. And that was so that we were more um, appropriate with language for today. We can have two versions. I don't know what you all want to do there. For equity, I see. Yeah, we, um, because we, we were like, that we were told that you can't, we, yeah, you, you couldn't I see identify a. Hmm. Maybe wedding um, suite? And then yeah. we can have a version that says guest. I mean, the guest room is what we refer to it in the tour guide, just so you know. Okay. But uh, however, because we want it to be clear that this is get ready space for yes. a bride or groom or whoever. Yes. And then, but we yeah. can also just have one that says guest room for tours. If they're handing these out at tours, you know, and we can yeah. have two different versions of like a wedding version and a, or if it's that's too to one yeah. version that it kind of says everything. So okay, so what so we, we do want people to know, clients. like mostly we're going to be handing these out for potential clients, right? We have correct the other ones that are already on the handout for the open houses. So I, I want to make it clear that that dressing is... Dressing area? I call it the bride's room, room. Yeah. When, when they're up there. We have historically yeah, called too, it that, and the only reason that the change happened, and it wasn't my idea, it just came from the city, um, was that, uh, say you have a um, uh, two, 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 two men. Yeah, right. just for equity. Yeah. So we... Why don't we just say dressing room? room? Yeah. Yeah. So is that, I mean, you're, that was, communication is became, coming from you regardless of what it says. Where yeah. It could be unlabeled and you're like, this is the space. This, yeah. Uh, space I think so dressing room, room or get ready space or whatever. Or yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's a good room. point. I, I like dressing rooms pretty generic. Yeah. And then that works too for like any other type of event that's not a wedding. Yeah. 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 But it's a private space for the yeah. client or whoever. Yeah. So. It's yeah. an exception for something. That's a good point. Thank you. So is there a and then, uh, oh, yeah. and then and then we refer to this as meeting room, but you are maybe I, that's a marketing and as a ballroom. Well, thing. it's from Molly Brown. I just oh. it's like ingrained in my head that it's ballroom. But I, I, we do refer to it as the meeting room. I, was <laughs> a ball room. Yeah. I like ballroom. It's not it's not a it's 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 misleading. It is misleading. <laughs> because there's no wood floors that we can put in ballroom. That was just me. Yeah. This one's a bathroom. Okay. The one downstairs is a lavatory. This one is a bathroom. This one has a bathtub in it. This is the kitchenette. And then the sleeping porch. Great. 
So yeah. that's how we easy changes. Easy peasy is that? Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, cool. Can we just right review what the right suggestions right. are so that I have it in the minutes? I think you can just say that we made edits to the... Yeah, sure. edits yeah. Were made. Okay. Yeah. 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 The big ones I have is adding historic and then minor yeah. uh, vocabulary. Do you want to add the birth shape? That's a great question. I didn't know if... Would people know what a rectangle there means? So, like, it's on this outline. Up to you. Do folks know? Would you, if I labeled this, what would I label this, I guess? Portico. Portico? Yeah, that's what we that's refer to it as. For me. Portico. 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 Okay. Would we label this a Portico? Portico. 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 P-O-R-T-E-C-A. French version. French version. Yes. C O C H T R E. And and because she she is the historian, go with what Karen says. That's kind of where I'm getting a lot of stuff. Could you get that down for me? That word because that's new for me. And because it does have the Italian thing of the garden. Yes. So portico would be Italian. Is that what you're saying? And portico is French. I'm Sicilian, but not that Sicilian. Go back to hang out for a while. Yeah. Well, and we don't want people using it anyway, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
like, okay, I don't think there's anything too crazy. We're going to really skim but pretty fast, right? Thank you. Yeah, I think the rest of this is going to Any uh, other items from the staff that you would like have to go in? Yeah, do you have any yourself? Oh, so no. we're no. going to have to. Well, no, she's just asking before Kristen has to leave. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, no, I'm just no. trying to. No, I'm just trying to, just trying to clean up if yeah. there's something yeah. she needs to do before she leaves. Okay. 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 So then I'm more on Art Walk. Okay, well, for items on the staff. Art will not, but, but there may be a lot of pieces. We're going back up to new business, okay. yeah. Art Walk 2024. So I already have um, the musician um, from for the, um, Mr. Bonarano is going to be doing the music again, and he's allowing us to um, piggyback and giving, um, going to help um, spread the news by using his um email list to promote oh, the event okay. as well. What's so his name? Um, Sal Monterano and he, they play, they were the musicians from last year that okay. they, they did the jazz music and right. he has a quite a huge okay. following of a group of people and so if we use his email uh, um, list as well hopefully our numbers will be back up. Now I have been trying to work on um, getting artists um, as you're aware, I'm not going to be here for that event because that happens to be the same day as my niece's, my goddaughter's wedding. So how inconvenient of her. Um, yeah, and that <laughs> was planned before I got signed up for this one. So, um, I think we'll, we want to put it together a committee. Yeah, I really would like to have yeah. more people besides Karen. I know you had volunteered that we we're going to work on this, but, um, yeah, I would like more people's input, and um, I think that from what we have spoken about in the past, we had really wanted to have more artists than what we're doing. Yeah, I think we should, should fill the garden. Right? I mean, there's no reason not to. People if can, we can get them, yeah, let's do it. People can bring pop-ups if oh, they want to. Oh, right, distribution. Yeah. Let's make it. Yeah. Yeah. Go big. or go home. Yeah. Because and I also want to, a change from recent years is people need to supply their own stuff. We're not, we're not going to rent pop ups and things like that. No. Yeah, we have some easels and mm -hmm. tables and chairs in the house. We've got some tables that could potentially be used, but mostly people need to supply their own stations. So, okay. Yeah. And okay. if whatever we have can be used, but we're not going to rent additional items. Yes. And then the, right. this event is costing yeah. us. Since right. there's not a table fee, they need to provide their own stuff. I, 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 I agree. I think yeah. that's a great idea. And then um, uh, Brittany also shared with me. Um, that she contacted um, the organization person. Oh, uh, yeah, like our, uh, the firehouse. We've paid our firehouse. sponsorship for this year. It's yes. the same sponsor sponsorship level that we've done in the past, and then we'll be featured on the map um, okay. as a sponsor and as a location for artists. Okay, so and are we going to done. reiterate with them in addition to put their logo on our things because they're working with us on that? Um, yeah, I mean, they're not sponsoring us we're sponsoring yeah. them we're sponsoring them but is there any way that i don't know you mean for us to put their logo on like our donor list mm -hmm. have they well, we're donating anything? to them as as opposed to the other way around right. so if anything yes, they yes. would use our logo on their stuff i know but is there any way that we can do it as a dual thing where we're um oh like see if since we're donating if they want to be a they want to join our donor Take program yeah. Sure. Once that's formulated, I think we could we can send it out to various people that we have partnerships with in the community and see if they're interested. That's, good that's what I wanted to. Gotcha. Gotcha. And I have that on my calendar for September the fourteenth. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I also have a wedding. You do. It's a big wedding on your day. Yeah. It's September is it? It is. September and June. Are the so do we need to get a committee together to work on that? Yeah. Yes. So far, the only people on the committee are you and I. Okay. You, I, and Britain. <laughs> and Britain okay, is really not really on the committee. Uh, so no, I, I mean, I'll be helping with stuff. But, yeah. but, but anybody else that would like to step forward. Are we Britain. anticipating a new member of the Kelly? Unfortunately, Department? not. Um, oh. So Rebecca that joined our right. meeting, yeah. Very interested. She did apply. Um, but since she just moved back 
here from out of the country. She's not. You have to be registered for over a year. Oh, yeah. So that was the only thing keeping her. That's the only thing. That's good. So that's a bummer. I mean, good that she wasn't just. Right. Like turned off by yeah no she was very <laughs> interested she just doesn't right. qualify yet it's a bar yeah. oh, so hopefully okay. next year and that was our only applicant oh. so we need more physical keep bodies. spreading the word yeah, yeah. okay so, so, so and now at this point it would be for next year because the application process for somebody starting in June is already passed. Exactly. so I was just going to say would this be so. open up another window it's it's you know by the mayor had last like, night so. was like begging everybody yeah reach out to everyone you know and yeah. you know ask them to volunteer we need volunteers at this point somebody can start in January I mm. move so I should have asked her. I would I wish I didn't I wish I'd known because I, I would have asked her then at that time we'll, we'll, so can we get an exception can we get an exception yeah. have an additional yeah, window for except possible that for is, but... filming this year. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a bummer. So, so back to the art walk real quick. Yeah. Um, when if you want to set a task meeting, and then we can join you. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the biggest events of the year. So it, it is, is a big it's, event. It's, it's way too big for one person to handle. I I really want to get going on this. Is there any way? How long are you going to have this? Fourteen days. So I won't be back until um and. And then I've got a hiccup because I've got a major surgery coming up in July as well. So, so we need to nab you in June. Yeah, we need to work on it probably about you first. tell me when in June? And it's June to late. That's the thing. So I'm going to put it out there right now. Start, if you have artists or any friends that are artists that we, you think would be interested, please reach out to them for, with that date for um, September and let them know that there's availability so we can start bringing artists in because we have to have, I'm like with Brittany, I would like to fill the space more mm -hmm. so people can get a much bigger crowd here. Yeah. And we're talking um, visual only or no, visual no, and music? Right. Or? It, it, well, yeah. music's taken care of, unfortunately. Okay, so that's out. So, that. so music or fortunately. Yeah, you know, I was going to say fortunately. Fortunately. Yeah. He's, yeah. Really, so, right, he's right. really good. Yeah. And and he's so um, dynamic in the sense that that he, he was a band instructor, so he's got a large volume of people. Um, but jewelry artists and any kind okay. of medium that you can think of. Medium. Um, yeah, they're vending, you know, so something I guess that is a product that can be sold. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. So yeah. yeah. Exactly. But there's a place, I mean, even that has to do with art in the community that sells like a membership or something like that. It's still a, a commodity that can be, you know, purchased just to but we've also, support that organization. We've, or whatever. we've, we've also talked too, about but, people that that do um vision like sculptors and stuff like that don't necessarily have large pieces to sell but could put a display and show his how like tim king's a good example he has done um sculpture pieces for the schools in front of all the schools here in town <clears throat> he's the person i want to contact and see if maybe he could set up and discuss <clears throat> how he goes through the process and, and an educational piece type of thing yeah that's interactive with the community is key but Mostly for selling purposes, mm -hmm. if we yeah. can. Show and and sell, you're planning to contact. Sell, maybe. Do we have a list of the people yeah. that were here? Planning to contact the people from previously. Right, that's that. Was uh, the question. With the exception of maybe we talked about not including stores any longer. This like a, the red door. The red door was difficult. She used a lot of space. She mm -hmm. didn't sell a tremendous amount. Yeah, I think trying to focus on individual artists, artists would be better. Yeah, it's better. So that would be my suggestion. But, I would contact everybody that's been here before that mm -hmm. would be interested. And um, I am reaching out um, the East um, Boulder County Arts Alliance group mm -hmm. is having their big open houses where they, they have artists at different houses oh, and walk through. So I've got that whole yeah. list and I'm going to contact Excellent. almost everybody on that list. Yeah, that's great. That's a good choice. So, so. but again, so, um, looking at calendar wise, um, <coughs> are the so we've got the committee meeting for the club survey and the and the donor program. Correct. Mm -hmm. Would this maybe take priority over 
some of those things and change change some of that time to what is it like to this instead like maybe the club survey because we want the membership per, or the donor program to be available for the July open house if right. possible but maybe right. the club survey could we meet all at the same day committee time or yeah add another just, uh, just add three hours meeting so, meeting to, <laughs> yeah to the another topics meeting. this is all the house is open all day so if we could do that I, because so that really it's everybody. really about sharing information on what it is and what we're going to be doing and that type of stuff does that, does that work the same like, so add another add four times hour 17. to the 17th yeah. so the like three hours for three topics next friday june 17th june may, may, may 17th may. next friday may 17th next friday which, which we already put time on that for yeah. you oh so, so it would be the club survey the donor program and our walk but right. you're not coming back for another meeting. It's all in one shift. Yeah. So be ten I to, would prefer to do that. Right. Ten to one. one. Ten yeah. one. That would work better for my schedule as well, please. Okay. If everybody's okay. Karen, are you right with that? Mm -hmm. Or is that ten to one? I think we do two. Uh, May 17. Yeah. This is same yeah. yeah. So it'll be the three. I, I, I'm on it that, that day. day. I'm, I'm feeling a little off. So first meeting will be club surveys. Second meeting will First task will be club survey. Second task will be donor. Uh, donor program, and the third task will be our block. Mm -hmm. Correct. We're just getting them and yeah. you know, back to back. And are we starting at nine a.m.? I think at this point we should. should. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So so like nine to noon instead. Okay. Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Okay. Morning we be here for the June meeting. The twelfth. I'll be here for the twelfth. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, I have to leave. No, thank but you. But I wanted you to know or let everybody know that you won't have. Yeah, that, that was on my list. I'll be here in the company of your. Yeah, so Ben so, and Chris will be here for the June meeting. I will not be here. Okay. But Are you doing something fun? Uh, my cousin's wedding in North Carolina. Thanks. 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 Carborough, I think it's called. It's just like we're having a Yeah. So that'll be fun. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See you guys. Good and day. I am canceling this meeting this afternoon. Oh, okay. Good to know. No worries. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad that we're going to do that all in one meeting. That's good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. you. you know, that, yeah. Okay. On right. to the next thing, which is the piano. Yay, piano. Um, yeah. So it's the, the purchase is. The check is on its way to Barb Lewis, who is the seller, um, and she, you know, originally posted it for three thousand dollars, but offered it to us for seven fifty. Was the final that, price? That's, that's, that's exciting! Yeah. Wow. Um, it's all set up with the movers, the folks that did all the hard work for us to get this oven into the house. Um, also, have done historic piano moves, so Perfect. they're going to do that for Yay. us. Um, they're picking it up from Barb on May twenty fourth and delivering it to Fred Goheen. Um, who's going to do the restring and just also see if there's anything else that it needs. Oh, um, wonderful. Yeah, so very excited that he's involved in that. Um, sorry, what's the name what's of that? His outfit. Um, this is Goheen. Goheen Piano. Yeah. Goheen. Goheen. G-O-H-E-E-N. Okay. Um, and him and his son now. Or yeah, he's the one you know, that takes care of the signing for us and all that. Um, so he's going to have it for probably two or three months. And then wow. we'll have the same company move it to Callahan House eventually. What's happening to you? Great question. Um, right now it is up for, there's something within the city called Up for Grabs. Okay. And um, it's basically an email that goes out to all like city administrators to let them know that this is available. Um, and there's it's kind of a three tiered process. But right now it has to start by going through Up for Grabs, which means it has to get used somewhere within the city. And realistically, the chances of anybody wanting it within the city, I don't, I don't, can't think of a place that would use it, but you know, who knows? It's been on there for a week or so. I think after it's on for two weeks, then I can move it to being available for auction. So the city does an auction process, um, which is like a, like a wider open thing. And then there's like a third tier if it doesn't sell at auction. That is, but yeah, so, so luckily, we've got a few months to try to get rid of it. Um, thank you, Brandon. Hopefully, for yeah, hopefully, yeah, somebody will great. be interested in it. Mm -hmm. If they're not, I asked the moving company if they might, if it, if the other one is coming in and this one's still here, they're going to move it into the auto house for us for now. 
I hate to just like throw stuff in there, but we have to do something with it. So that's it. We have several months to see what's going to happen, but that's like worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario. You know, so that could happen because well, we'll see. There's there's no way that we can donate it to somebody. We'll see. The, the problem <laughs> is, is, will they want we it? Well, it doesn't want it. And there are restrictions within <laughs> the, the city about just that's like why general it. donation, which is a bummer. But that, that's what I'm worried about is through what are the restrictions that we could just say. Yeah, I, like I can't just post it on Craigslist right now or something. Yeah, can't just sit it out on the sidewalk and say, <laughs> no. free. Yeah, no. You can't bring it on uh, big item day to the <laughs> dog. Maybe. I hate, I mean, that just feels so wasteful. But. Yeah, this yeah. is all the well, this so is, But this That's is part crazy, of what we knew was going to be a challenge. Yeah. yeah. So. Consider um, reaching out to 1 800 Got Junk. And the reason I say that is because while they don't just take things to the dump, they repurpose things. And so that oh, is well, worth yeah. checking in with. I need to go through That's the process wrong. with the city yeah. first, yes. but then we'll see yes. how that city works. City process first, but. And the see if the city will let us use that. Yeah. They have, they, and they, they don't, don't all do that. No, they don't. But one of the local one does. Does. Wow. So I like it. Well, that. That's just that's so much good. Yeah. So, yeah. What a good, what a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sending it. So yeah, people. we've got some time to figure it out. Luckily, but it needs to go through this process first. Right. And then if we can't get rid of it through the city processes, then we'll see okay. what our other options are. Does that John sell? Oops, I'm sorry. Is everything or something? Everything that they have. Okay. You can call them and talk to them. Great. I've used their services before and they are fantastic. They have great. They have great. Great. Okay. You have two. Okay. You have two. Yeah. They, they're great. Okay. And great. then do they sell it? I don't really know what. I think they donate it. Yeah. I, I know. Oh, yeah. Great. They donate okay. it. Is it a non profit? No. The, it is a for profit business. Okay. Okay. But they guess. repurpose it. Mm-hmm. I like that idea. Cool. So you pay them. Yeah. Take it away. You pay them yeah. to take it away. That's totally yeah. acceptable. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Right. But exactly. here's the here's the deal. But it goes if we're gonna move it anyway, that seems like a better option. Yeah. 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 Not into space. Not into the auto. Yeah. yeah. Anything that's yeah. Who cool. no, 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 no. <laughs> Um there's a there's a little black eye. It was donated by a group, so I can't remember. It's right on there. The yeah. Optimus Club. It's the store Optimus Club. No, but it was and then we, are they okay with the fact that we're going to? It doesn't matter. Yeah. I know. I'm just curious. Do they have a reaction or them. do they know? Just, don't just change it. We're not saying we're going to I don't really want to go there. I think. No, I'm not saying happen. that we would make a point of telling them. But if they already kind of knew or will know. I'm just asking if they I don't know what their involvement is with the I mean they're not like a pub that meets here. So. Oh they don't. Oh yeah. good. It says yeah. Oh, oh, good. Good. Oh, so yeah, they were probably just wanting meetings. to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in, in getting it, you know, <laughs> it's donated it, it's just pictures of it in yeah. paper. And that's that scrapbook. Piano was but, built in like 1965, 1970. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. not, okay. And per our now existing donation agreement. We're trying to be more so we can do whatever we need to do with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I really I like didn't that. think it would stop us from doing anything. No. I was just curious oh, because yeah. everything else we think about, who don't yeah. get it, and yeah, yeah, that'd be sensitive to that. Like, it, it, it soften the blow. Right, yeah. soften the blow. Yeah. I don't know that they have any involvement really with the house anymore. So, yeah, they do. Yeah, if they do. I don't know what it is. So, I don't we're not reaching out right now. To no, the, they're not on our list for club affairs. So, I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's where we're at. Okay, excellent. That sounds great. Um, we are moving down to item eight, items from the board. Uh, items from staff. Staff. Yeah. Oh, staff. Oh, we already. Yeah. I already asked that, didn't I? Oh, well, well, Kristen. In just, case she just has since some she before was she left. Okay. 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 Got Other staff. staff. Just She's got staff. staff. Okay. Pardon um, me. <laughs> no worries. Um, I wanted to share stats from the open house which was very successful. Um, 117 people attended, which is great because last year we had 17 people attended. That's $100. So right. That was <laughs> all really that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And in defense, last year there was no advertisement. No advertisement. Right. In between yeah. managers and, you know. Yeah. So um, what was the attendance? 117. 174. Yeah. For the, for the open house. spring open house okay. on April 25th. Um, and I advertised it in pretty much every way that was possible, including the chamber visit Longmont and the Longmont downtown district. Thank so you. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. So good to see like what can happen when we right. yeah. the word gets out. Um, yeah. 
So there are 85 people in the first hour, 28 in the second hour, and four in the third hour. So the dates and times for the rest of this year are kind of already set, but I'm thinking next year we might want to think about just doing a two-hour time slot instead of three hours. Yeah. Um, So, yeah. And for July, it kind of already is what it is. We could move it just just a half hour back or Or, yeah, whichever way. Yeah, exactly. And maybe, you know, and maybe that's just for the spring open house. If July is busy for all three hours, then mm-hmm. we'll yeah. see. But good information. Okay. Thank um, you for we all got, the community you've been doing too. Yeah. Yes. That's well, it's, this city has a lot of avenues that make it really easy, so it's good. Um, we got $25 in cash donations, $65 in merchandise sales, yes. and 34 new email signups. Great. So that was very good. That's, that was so good. That's amazing. It's good. Thanks yeah. for so, everybody. 30, the, 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 34 new emails. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. you man. I just couldn't. I was hitting the wall. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. No, it was, I mean, yeah. it was certainly plenty manageable with the amount of work. There were a lot of people at first, but yeah, I mean, it moved along. It was good. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, exciting news that happened very quickly. I did not expect this, but the gazebo now has electricity. <gasps> oh, <already> nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it so happened that we had put in a, a request for a quote for it. Um, and they actually, the, the company that the city uses, Rose Electric, had to come out to do some electric because we had to get a new water heater, which oh. is also in place. Um, and so they were able to just do that at the same time. So there's a little outlet box on the gazebo now, cool. um, which nice. is exciting. Oh my gosh, are we going to purchase lights to go? That leads into my next thing. All right. Um, so the last page of the packet um, is, <laughs> with no context on the page, but um, is about lights what? for the that's, garden. That's what that is. Um, okay. Oh, I yeah. you what that Sorry. was. Um, yeah. No, 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 I'm thrilled. So, yeah, so there's going to be lights in the gazebo, which is not pictured here, but we'll, there'll be lights in the gazebo. And then we are um, going to be, which is really exciting, it's very much needed for weddings um, and garden events in general, but putting market stream lights out in the main garden. Um, in the nice. South Garden. Yes. I've always wanted that. So, it's like you're reading yes. my mind. Yes. Whatever yes. out there and said, oh, we need lighting. Yes. So what it really looks like is going to be um, string lights kind of in a zigzag here. So okay. the pink is the existing lamp posts. Uh-huh. Um, and what we need to do in order to make this happen, because we don't want anything wrapped on the trees for the health of the trees. So right. we don't want to attach or wrap anything on the trees. Um, as requested by parks, and of course we want to go along with that, um, is they're going to install two more posts. The blue oh, I see. is two okay. additional posts. Are they just posts or lights? Well, they're go- so at first they're going to be posts, but eventually, maybe next summer, I think, or maybe the fall, they're going to match the existing lamps. So it's, oh, and they're going to be oh, lit. Wow. Okay. So it's going to be a, repl- a replica. Right. The existing the lamps. Existing. Um, for now, just post, but then eventually get them electrified. So they'll hook it up so that they the electric is there, and they can add the lamp heads later. Only because that's going to take them some time to source it, and we need right. this done by Rachel's wedding, which is in a few weeks. Right. So, um, yeah, with your wow. blessing, this is happening next week. Um, <laughs> so yeah. hope that everybody's on board. But um, it's really exciting. I mean, I I think it's does exciting. that change timing of weddings too? No, but it um, does help. Like last year, there was a wedding on September thirtieth, and mm-hmm. you know, at nine o'clock at night, people are trying to like <laughs> see <laughs> at their steak, and it's um, <laughs> it's very very needed. It's very exciting. So this will be the market lighting, and then I am Zebo. Nice. So. Cool. Yeah, and we got a couple different quotes for that, a couple different ideas about how to put it together. And these folks could do it without using the trees. Um, and it's gonna be a permanent installation and they can, you know, That's do maintenance fabulous. on it as needed. Wow. So wonderful. Exciting. And they can do the whole thing, the install, the electric, the, the whole shebang. So so, nice. so that's not gonna get have any issues during winter months or anything like that? They're so the lights that they're using are all weather all season. Of course, you know, they'll be yeah. maintenance over time, which right. they can help us with. Right. Um so yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Exciting. And I think with the most minimum impact to like existing you know nothing is attached to the house like it's not gonna affect the fountain or anything. no it'll all be overhead that okay. or that area okay so wow. 
Yeah, that's lovely. I am very it's, excited. It's very needed, honestly, like as a, a venue. As a venue. Space. Right. Truthfully, yeah. when I was out walking the garden last summer, um, that was one of the things I'm like, we need more lights. I think it'll help with security and some of yes. the like issues that we've been having with um, unhoused persons, you know, right. trying to make encampments and things oh, like that. So there's yeah. dual benefits. Um, a couple of the brides are like just beyond ecstatic about it. And mm-hmm. so it's very exciting with doing the block to kind of like work on upgrading our venue status while still, yes. you know, maintaining and highlighting the historic aspects of the I am so jealous. Wonderful. Yeah. That's going to call attention to people coming around Mm -hmm. who wouldn't even notice the house. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. The lighting right 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 by it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, because lighting right away sort of looks like an event or a a venue of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And we're also, the company that does the lighting for Roosevelt Park for the holidays is Mm -hmm. looking into adding Callahan House to their list. I was just going to ask that. Just going to ask that. Yeah. And we checked with the Historic Preservation Commission and also with Ann McLeave from History of Colorado about the best way to go about doing that you know like what they can use that protects the structure and doesn't make any permanent alterations of any kind right and there are some good options for that so oh that's amazing so it's so it's really for permanent or for christmas just for the holidays okay. so you know to like i accent the gables and everything right so well thank you last year right. beautiful just like oh <laughs> that's, that's so exciting the beautiful lights on the porch last year so this will be Upgrade that's that. amazing. So yeah, that's awesome. would, would we exciting. consider it? Okay. No, I'm gonna laugh because um, mind blowing. Um, the gal that always wanted to ha- the to do our stuff over um, garden. Who's the passport member? And I'm blanking on her name. Anne. Anne. Anne would love that. Would we? Could could we do lighting on the on the auto house as well? Sure. Yeah, I'm sure we could. Yeah. People yeah, don't even see what their photos, yeah. you know. Yeah, because she yeah. almost wanted to see put the, the Santa the in the auto house. She does house. always want to put the Santa yeah, in the auto house. Oh, on and top of it? No, yeah. 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 so they go in, so it's like a workshop. She always wanted to do that. We could do kids. That would be. Well, we'll see what kind of state the auto house is in, I guess. We'll see. Well, it's wishful thinking. Okay, we got to think moving forward. Yeah. Positive, positive. So, right. yeah. Um, and then, sorry, real quickly, the postcards that Maureen brought that were from the friend of yours, um, I've sent the, I've sent an image of those to legal to see what we need to do or can do to make a reproduction to sell at the open houses. That's amazing. So, and that was I'm actually, your back. that was some. Um, Sal's um, wife. Oh, cool. Okay. Good context. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. And, and she's, oh, she's, 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 she's a, looking at me now. a legal. Okay. Yeah. She does um, archaeological digs and stuff, and she was wondering, you know, where the original outhouses and stuff were cured. Yeah. If she wanted, oh, if oh, she had kind of said that she might volunteer to help us figure out certain things on the property. Oh, she's okay. she's oh. amazing. And that, so through historic context, she got that. Would you know who's what building this is? And she said, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then we just, yeah. Well, that's so yeah. Good. And they'll, I mean, that kind of stuff sells like crazy. We used to do ones, like historic postcards of Chautauqua. Uh-huh. There, and they just sell. Like, oh, like they that. sell. And yeah, that's so exactly great. one of those things because People that's really something like that. yeah. yeah. a little keepsake, you know. Yeah. So anyway, looking into well, how to go about doing that. Thank you. Um, yeah. And then just as Kristen said, I'm not going to be at the June meeting. So I'll, you know. Obviously, you can get the packet and all of that stuff. Ben and Kristen okay. will be here, and I'll send along some notes for any of the items that I'm working on. Wonderful. So, yeah. That's what I got. Is that it? From That's it. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. No, you're good. Okay. Um, then we Now we're moving on to item eight. Item 74. You've oh. got something. I know. <laughs> I do. I'm very excited about this. Um, so, as you know, I'm on the Questers, my vice president of our, our chapter, and um, they've reached out, our state board has reached out to us with historic funds, and we put out a large grant that would be open for different projects, and what would we be interested in, and I propose that we could use those funds to redo this table and chairs in the dining room. 
-hmm. And so I'm going to be writing for that grant, and oh, cool. hopefully um, we oh, can use cool. it for the historic um, restoration of, of the table. Yeah, so that's, that's great. great. So wow. in conjunction with the Sansuray, right? right? I'm sorry? In conjunction with Sansuray, that had, uh, many months ago they came and said that they had some money that they wanted to donate to Callahan House and what project would be something that we wanted to do. So I just suggested the dining set. And I think that Connie and um, I'm blanking on the president of the other chapter, but they wanted to work together to pool funds to yeah, donate and, to and, 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 and the the bottom line is that it's one fund. Yeah. Right? It's coming from the, the overall state p &L, gotcha. um, oh, okay. historic, because Questers has certain funds that we do and it's all for historic preservation. And we have funds in the state fund that has to be used for preservation. So they were trying to figure out where we'd like to use those. And so I'm going to be writing that grant. Thank you. I don't know that it's a conflict of interest, but um, because it's all for the historic preservation of the house. Yeah. But um, I'm very excited about that. And I'm going to be looking into. Um, uh, we we did um, some historic chairs and um, that was done through Denver and seeing if I can you know get some ideas on yeah. of how much money and I've asked Karen's help as well as um, uh, for ideas money. yeah because I've written grants but she wrote the big one for this house and she's got all the info mm -hmm. so that's I'm very excited about that we the also did that, request a quote. You know, so you have an idea about how much we need for it. Mm -hmm. We don't know that if anybody has an idea of a vendor, that would be helpful. Because um, Empire, you know, we kind of go through them and then see who they know and can reach out to. But I don't, so far, I haven't really gotten any. I've got a vendor that, on that. So. I have a vendor that we, we use for these chairs. He's rather slow, so I'm going to keep on. Okay. I'm going to reach out to Anne um, at the historic. Okay. And, and, and Could get you ideas. send me information of vendors so I can reach out for quotes so that we know um, how much? You there's might a list the on, on. There is a list of, of vendors that the historic um, History, Colorado. History Colorado recommends, and that's what all, all the okay. Thank I'll you. just okay. use those direct vendors. Okay. Exactly. Is but that let me know so that we can get like a. Yeah, reach out for an official quote. That's what I'll do. The the state fund is that history Colorado or what? No, is that? it isn't. It's, 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 it's it's Questers, and there's also a. You mean the state Questers organization Questers fund? The state fund. Okay. It's the and it, it's called the PNL, um, um, for um, preservation, and and it's all we use um, funds we've restored um, buildings throughout Longmont, and we've also restored um, the the museum piece in Berthoud, and throughout the state, there's various different buildings. Um, the Stanley home, we donated for their dining room to be redone, um, nice. and the wallpaper and everything. It's all about historic preservation. That's okay. exactly our Great, purpose. I just needed to know what the organization was. Yeah. And then, um, I'm hoping um, this might open a door for possibly more funding to come from the national community, but we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Okay. It's Thanks. exciting. Yeah. 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 Great. Thank you. Yeah. Very, Very nice. nice. Plus, that's going to have a real real list, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It really have an impact on this. Yeah. yeah. And, and I would like so to mention. In the house. Yeah. And I'd like to mention also, like, I've kind of changed some procedural things so that this space is getting used less for rentals because I think it's important for the overall preservation of it. Um, so especially like for weddings, we've changed the way that we just do certain like the cake cutting and things like that. There's mm -hmm. no reason that this space needs to be used for that, like keep it outside. Yeah. Um, because we were moving in and out all the time, like the bottom, you know, has, has got a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Just it's getting too much use. So I'm kind of trying mm -hmm. to change things procedurally for it to not be used as much during private rentals. Yeah. Just to help with all that, especially after restoration. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. great. So that was my my. Ooh, thank you. That's very exciting. exciting. Yeah. That's very wonderful. Yeah. Very yeah, for you. Lovely. There's a Newt's antique refurnishing here in town. It's on County Line Road. K N U T E S. I think it's Tom and Alex Newt. Yeah, I think I, I have some before. before. I have two. And I have two. Fabulous. Great work. Right I wonder if he's still. 
I wonder if he's still restoring. Well, that's why I just Googled him. It came up. And so. the only, I, he, was, he was getting older, and I, I think he was slowing down. I don't know if he's kind of still restoring. See, that's one of the things is. But um, they're fabulous if he, if he is. Or if, maybe he can refer us to someone else that right. he's admired mm -hmm. in the industry. So I went to, yeah. I'm having my historic clock redone. Um, it's a calendar clock. And the gentleman that used to do it here in town, um, uh, Tim, I don't know, Kevin. Anyway, um, he had health issues and he stopped restoring clocks. And so he recommended a place up in um, Superior, not, not as fast as Superior, it's the heck up, <laughs> up 70 um, in the mountains someplace and but he's a wonderful um, person that I'm working with so yeah that's the problem some of these people that are we do have restored things for years they're they're right, retired they're, they're aging now and, and they're they're aging aging now, yeah. and, and to try to find people that mm -hmm. still you might work. also reach out to um, Elise that's what I was just to Santa's mm -hmm. with the St. Brain Historical Society because they have people who vendors who come in for the could you show me this contact just share it for contact with me that would be great yeah, yeah. they they come in what for was the name of the one Lauren that you worked with sorry I can't remember oh okay I apologize but what I'm getting my point is that they're aging out and trying to find people that yeah, yeah. but the vendors who come in to the strawberry and tea festival and pumpkin pie days um, and all these would be the one who would have all of their contact information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry yeah. Days is next weekend, I believe. Saturday and Sunday. Oh, um, right. At Fairgrounds. Oh my gosh. It's happening. I, I'm, oh, I, and I'm, I'm zero escaping my whole front yard at oh. the moment oh. and um, through um, resource. And um, I just got all my plants picked up for Garden of the Box. And um, it's going really well, but it's and um, yeah, yeah, so I'm a little overwhelmed. So, are you getting rid of grass? And I completely took grass. Out. That is a lot of work, at least on the front. Yeah, that's great. My puppies would hate me if I took it completely out. Yeah, they don't like that. Can't throw a frisbee. Yeah, yeah. one more agenda item. Okay, oh, I was gonna say, I have an item. So, oh, yeah, sorry, oh, board, on the board, board. Yeah, yeah, it's the, the historian's brief. Oh, yeah, this, 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 this week, uh, this, this month, because it's sort of on topic, I chose the auto house. So uh -huh. We're kind of, yeah, yeah. about that. So, knowing that the auto house was built in 1904, included a turntable built on the floor, ceiling was decorated tin, um, apartment above the auto house provided a two room living quarters, which were originally connected to the lower floor by an interior staircase. It also had a call button, who, you know, so the chauffeur could be summoned from the main house. And then, of course, after being gifted by Tom and Alice in 1938, the auto house served many purposes. Um, and first off, starting on or about May 27th, 1939, City Council approved plans allowing the community to proceed with work. So this addresses the whole question of when was the turn for the turn. Mm. So, and this is from all City Council notes and things. They approved plans allowing a committee to proceed with work to modify the automobile house for a museum. Modifications included removal of the turntable and floor, installation of oak flooring, the interior stairway removed, the window in the rear, east building, removal of the, and I'll give this to you, Cindy. Okay. Um, removal of the original double doors on the west side of the building and installation of a single door. That was um, as of the honor about May 27th, 1939. That's when the city council approved these plans to go forward. Now, as of March 26th, 1940, it was done. It had been remodeled, redecorated, and the floor covered with linoleum. Oh, oh, right? yeah, that's about oh. right. <laughs> anyway, going forward, then in July 15th of the same year, 1940, the Longmont Pioneer Museum, it was the first museum of Longmont, opened to the public for the first time in the modern house. So, and uh, in 1954, so basically 14 years later in space, it became a problem. The museum was growing, and so the museum moved to the basement of the St. Brain Memorial Building, opened the bottom house. So thereafter, it was kind of late 50s, 60s, um, and definitely as of March of 1971, it was the home to the Longmont chapter of the American Red Cross. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Then in 1978, Boulder County Legal Aid Offices held the, the building in, as an office until um, 1982. And then thereafter, the building was vacant for three years due to a, quote, red tag on boiler. Yes. Some sort of yeah, the chemical issue, issue yeah. that may cause that to go, whoop, no more anything in that building. But then in the summer of 1985, the St. Vrain Historical Society undertook the extensive renovation of the building in return for a 20-year lease to use the building uh, for an office. Renovation included removal of the linoleum to reveal the oak floor. Mm -hmm. The ten ceilings were preserved, uh, and attempting to preserve the Victorian flavor of the building, the furnishings followed suit, so they put some furnishings in there. Uh, a table, once used by the Callahans, was rescued from the basement of the house and restored. So they got rid of it. Mm -hmm. um, the and then chauffeur's records of, of work on some of the later vehicles were discovered and preserved. So. Oh. And then after the St. Brain Historical Society vacated the building, after they ended the lease, the automobile house was remodeled in May of 2005. And here we are today, yes. Very cool. Wow. So a little so history about the auto house. That's and amazing. Been used yeah. over the years. I, I have, have a question. That Do you, we have a picture of the turntable? No, I have Because looked, that's what people ask over and over again. Yeah, they like, see it. Yeah. We thought we were crazy. I asked I asked Eric um, Mason of the museum because they were the first in, you know. I've looked through old city hmm. records, you know. I looked for I even looked for permits to try and see if there was a permit holder and you know, um, anything to attach no, none so, of that. So, so sadly, were no any designs was, given? Um, that would be nice if there was a or something. In, uh, what do you mean? Were any designs given to city council on what would, what I help removal? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was really sad about that. The only thing I have is a picture <coughs> from another example of a turntable. And um, uh, I don't know that, I mean, I, I can certainly keep looking, I hope I have that. I can certainly keep looking, but um, the reality is no, nobody, no, nobody mm -hmm. paused to, to capture history and, and say, okay, before and after. And I think we are better at that nowadays, obviously. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that's because the honestly, on, on my wish not. list, if we could ever locate one, because that's what people would like to see what it looked like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When, when we do the tours here, that's mm -hmm. one of the things I'm mm -hmm. asked over and over again. Can we see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, unfortunately, no. I'd like to have some more in general things around that talk a little bit more about the history of the house. They, we're not a museum, but I think we can incorporate some of those elements in a, a sort of a more permanent way. It doesn't affect the aesthetic of the home, but yeah, yeah. people visiting can get some information without having to take an official tour. Like yes. even just posting something like that information that Karen just shared in the auto house yeah. and some photo. There was a photo, I guess, at one point of like the original fireplace, just like yeah. some, mm -hmm. some yeah. boards yeah. around. Well, well if, if, if we have a picture of the original fire, uh, um, fireplace, and then we have a tile that was removed, and we have the tile if you yeah, put it together. Yeah, put some like, yeah. you know, if more museum-like displays together. around. That's kind right. of my like, long-term goals mm -hmm. is, is to have some things like that. And then that helps us too with open houses, not having to hand out so much paper. Yeah. Um, yeah. Too, so. so here's a, here's a, it's a black and white, it's just a copy from the Longmont Ledger from 1927. And this is an example of uh, what a turntable looked like. In, um, in that time. And that's oh, like that's that's even cool. Like, something to that's incorporate and say this is yeah. Yeah. That is not Callahan, but that is an yeah. example. This is it, it but, but it's, it's, it's our yeah. 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 That's better than nothing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I might find it, including something that says an example of the time. Yeah. 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 That's really interesting. Anyway, it's. That would be kind of cool. So at least we could direct them to it and say, this is what it looked like. Because I think in their mind, they're thinking, well, how would that work if you've yeah. got a turntable? Where's where's the bar that turns it? And right. they can't visualize it. Right. So, 
Yeah. But anyway, the beautiful you know, significance of the auto and why I'm fighting <laughs> to keep it usable for so many and, reasons. And that's also my purpose. And I just don't want to make it storage. We don't want to make, make it storage either. Like that that the point is it is storage right now and we do need to have like some storage in there. But it, those. yeah, we want it to not feel like a storage space yeah, and it is, is more usable. Because that's so. detracting yeah. ones. Yeah. And whether that means you walk that in this... and look around and go, oh, this is kind of what, you know, and you know, even, yeah. who knows, maybe, maybe I can come up with a way that we can put together a little map that we roll out that has like a, a drawing a of, this, of, yeah, oh, of the turn table yeah. on the floor. Huh. So that it's like, so that it's a map that people would step on and walk on and stuff, but at least we oh, can roll it out cool. for, for yeah. tours. Days and then people could stand in there and look and go, oh, this that's is how right. this would work. Yeah, yeah. No, my goal is definitely oh, that's like, cool to return things to their historic aesthetic yeah. while being functional and making that space more usable than yeah. it is now. Which is so just to, like a, to me, that would be a good place to put the. Um, I am having so many issues with words today, and I'm so sorry. The little graphy thing that you click with your phone, oh my god, I think the QR code. code. The QR code. code. Yeah. That would be a great thing to put all that information yeah. that she just had with the QR code right on. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's the cool. tie in. It's, yeah. yeah, it's helpful. It is. Everybody needs to get access to it. Thank you for yeah. all your patience. Thank you for that. That's, 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 that's so. great information. That would be oh, awesome. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Big project in the air around the is getting that stuff all fresh. around, you know, in an appropriate way, but like available yeah. for people. Even if, oh, somebody's just that. coming for a birthday party. It it that's exactly that's that feel. educational yeah. experience. Yeah. Also yeah. I think, and, and without having the official tour, that's yeah. one of those things. Okay, so, okay, one more item. Okay, one more item. Uh, <laughs> We just shall we just leave this camera horn book rights in, in the future. Just in keep the future. It. Yeah, yeah, it's there it's right here. But okay. from the last meeting, it was requested um, some. I'm not, I don't remember who was this, but I think it might have been um, somebody thought that they might be able to get contact information for the nephew or whoever oh, it is. I haven't. I, haven't, I, I okay. can ask again, but I haven't. Most of them were saying I, I don't know. So okay, it's legal. Actually, did get back to us about that. Okay. So, yeah, and basically, we need to reach out to the family or their, I'll, you know, I'll power of attorney or whoever I'm working on, and see what they will okay. allow us to do. Right. Do one of the yeah, elderly, prudently, more elderly, elderly ladies that I need to speak with should be at the meeting tomorrow. So. Okay. Well, okay. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, that's I'm yeah. waiting on contact information for somebody associated with them so that we can at least make an attempt. To reach out to them if they'll give us permanent printing rights would be the best or a one-time print and then make a very large order and then the eventual if we don't get permanent printing rights would be to work with the museum or whomever to create our a new well, version on our on our um, annual report to city council we included that ideally uh, one of our future goals in, in this year would be to create a booklet um that could be sold and the booklet would be more of the information about the tour yeah. the detail room the right. detail all of that right. and it can also include other details that perhaps aren't included in um this kind of book and so it would yeah. serve an additional purpose of yeah did book, you but... from the museum write a book in regards to doing stuff about the the Longmont history. He just, He's yeah, like, a couple of years ago they released a, a history of Longmont. But that didn't highlight. It, didn't it, highlight it was an overall. It was just, it was just an overall. It, it that's what I thought, but yeah. So. But I do but somebody that we can have have a contact information on how we went about it. Yeah, I think you know there are kind of sources that can help source us. Source source and, and it also can be yes. heavily like I sourced from the state handbook yeah. yeah. as a resource. Yes, yeah. as a resource. Going from my like, source and writing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, just yeah. Bear with me. yeah. So anyway, that's where we're at with that. It'll remain a future agenda item for a while. Okay, okay. But, sounds good. Um, I will try yeah. to work on that. I appreciate it. I know it's not an easy task, but I. Every every chance I get, I'll just I'll keep on working. Okay, like and yeah, you never know when something's going to come up. No more information you need. Okay, is there anything else anybody wants to bring up? Can we uh, enter the um, 
Yeah, it's for your Oh, you want to go for Yay. Yay. Um, oh, sorry. I'll still have time to meet today. <laughs> <laughs> so are we, are we having our second meeting here or upstairs? Uh,